Our heavenly father is a deliverer. Isaiah 12 2 says, Look, God is my deliverer. I will trust in him and not fear. He hears when his children call upon him. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you. The children of Israel did it. Exodus 2 23 to 25. But the Israelites continued to groan under their budding of slavery. They cried out for help and their cry rose up to God. God heard their groaning and he remembered his covenant promise to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. He looked down on the people of Israel and knew it was time to act. The Lord is always ready to rescue his children from the clutches of the enemy. You can key into this prayer as I pray for deliverance for you from any attack of the enemy. The word of God in Psalm 18 verse 48 says, You have delivered us from our enemies and exalted us above those who rise against us. I declare that the Lord alone is your rock, your fortress and your deliverer, rescuing you from the snares of the enemy that entangles you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover you with the full armor of God. By the authority given to me through Jesus Christ, we command the enemy to flee from your life. I bind the schemes of the enemy that seeks to kill, steal and destroy in the name of Jesus. And I reject any foothold the enemy seeks to establish in your life. In the name of Jesus, I break every bondage over your life and declare freedom over your life in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 27 verse 1, I declare that the Lord is your light and salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the stronghold of your lives. Of whom shall you be afraid? I pray that the Lord upholds you with his righteous right hand and grants you victory over the schemes of the evil one. In the face of the enemy's schemes, I declare that the love of the Father surrounds you and you take refuge in his unwavering faithfulness. For he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the works of the enemy that seek to steal your peace, joy and the abundant life the Lord has promised you in his word. You receive it even now by the authority given to us. Through Jesus Christ, I cast out every spirit of fear, doubt and confusion that hinders you from fully embracing the promises of the Father in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 138 verse 7, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies and your right hand would save me. I pray for light for you when you tread through the valleys of challenges, casting out the darkness that attempts to engulf you. I declare that this happens to you in the name of Jesus. May you stand firm in the face of the adversities, for you are more than conqueror through Christ who loves you. In Jesus' name, I break every chain that binds you. Whether it is the chains of sin, oppression or despair. The truth sets you free and I declare freedom over every area of your life. I pray that you are empowered to resist temptation that may lead you into the trap of the enemy. I pray grace for you continually in walking in righteousness leading you from the path of destruction. As you march into the battles of life, I declare the promise from Deuteronomy 20 verse 4. You go with us to fight against our enemies and to save us. I pray that the presence of the Lord goes before you, leading the way to victory. We rely on your guidance and protection, Lord God, knowing that in you we find our strength. And so I declare the victory reigns over your business and career. In the name of Jesus, I bind and rebuke every force of darkness that seeks to obstruct your path for no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment is already condemned. According to Psalm 44 verse 7, But you have saved us from our adversaries and you have put to shame those who hate us. I declare your victory 
over your adversaries at work. I place your career and business endeavors into the capable hands of the Lord. I pray every form of darkness in your workplace is exposed in the name of Jesus. And I pray that your eyes are enlightened to recognize the strategies of the enemy in business. I pray wisdom to navigate challenges with grace and integrity in the name of Jesus. I pray that every anxieties, fears and uncertainties that you have about your job is replaced with the peace of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. I surrender your family into the loving hands of the Father. In accordance with Psalm 18 verse 19 which says, He brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. I pray that the power of the Lord leads your family into a spacious place of deliverance and harmony. I declare the victory is your family's portion. As I rebuke every plan of the enemy to sow discord, strive or harm within your family unit, in the name of Jesus, I bind any attack from the enemy that opposes the well-being of your family members as I break the chains of fear, doubt and discouragement targeted at your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that your family stands firm in the assurance that the Lord is your refuge and fortress, your ever present help in times of trouble. And just as the psalmist from the hands of his enemies was delivered, may God's mighty hand deliver your family from the clutches of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I declare the promise of the Father in Psalms 34, 17. The righteous cries out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Over you, in the face of adversity, you are delivered. I renounce any foothold that the enemy may have gained in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare the cleansing power of the precious blood of Jesus Christ washes away every stain and stronghold, breaking the chains that bind you in the name of Jesus. I break every generational curse, every evil assignment, and every chain that seeks to hinder progress and your walk with the Father in the name of Jesus. By the power of his resurrection, I break every chain and stronghold that the enemy has attempted to place upon you as I declare that the mighty angels of the Lord are dispatched to surround and guard you. I declare that they wage war against the spiritual forces of evil on your behalf in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any demonic oppression or hindrance that may be at work in your life. According to Psalm 59 verse 1, Deliver me from my enemies, O my God, set me securely on high, away from those who rise up against me. I release the power of God to bring deliverance, healing and restoration in every area where the enemy has sought to wreak havoc. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke every spiritual entity that opposes the perfect will of God for your life. As I pray you abound in deliverance from every attack, oppression and influence from the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. It is known that words can be used to build or break people and things. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 11.9 says, Evil words destroy godly skill rebuilds. This is why the enemy through men can speak evil words over you and that will result to death. But then the scripture which is full of life can be used to dismantle evil words spoken over you or your family as it says in 2 Corinthians 10 verses 4 and 5. Our weapon for battling challenges aren't worthy. They possess divine might to demolish strongholds. We refute arguments and every exalted opinion that contradicts God's truth, taking captive every thought to align with Christ. And so I encourage you to join me in this prayer as I pray against evil words spoken over you or your family. So let's pray. The word of God in Psalms 140 verses 1 and 2 say, Rescue me, Lord, from evil doers. Protect me from the violent who devise evil plans in their hearts and stir up war every day. I pray in the name of Jesus for your family, 
that they are rescued from every falsehood spoken against them. I pray that they are delivered from the snares of those who seek to devour them with their tongues, from the schemes and actions of those who seek to destroy you through their wicked speech or action. Your family is covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. Your family is protected from the violence of words and deeds aimed at their reputation and well-being. May your family be upheld in the embrace of the Father which raises a barrier to prevent them from harm that comes from the tongues of the malicious in Jesus' name. I pray for peace to reign in the heart of each of your family member despite the storms of slander that may rage around them. I pray that they shall not be weighed down by the intentions of those who have ill will against them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that in the shadow of the love of the Father, I pray that your family find solace and strength. I declare that every darkness created by the words spoken against your family is dissipated. I declare that your family is graced to respond with grace and wisdom in the face of adversity, knowing that justice from the Lord will prevail in Jesus' name. I pray that your family is protected by the Lord from the harm caused by those who use their tongues deceitfully, as stated in Psalms 12 verse 5, because the poor are plundered and the needy grown. I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. I proclaim that justice prevails over every malicious intention aimed at your family's well-being in the name of Jesus. I beseech the Lord to arise and intervene on your family's behalf to protect them from harm from those who look to malign and harm your family through their works. I pray strength for any members wounded by the arrows of verbal assault in Jesus' name. May the comfort and presence of the Lord encircle them and offering peace and fortitude in the midst of spiritual battles in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every lying tongue and deceitful mouth that seeks to harm and destroy your family in the name of Jesus. I command the power of these evil tongues to be silenced as I pray that every hidden agenda aimed at your family be exposed. I pray wisdom to navigate through the treacherous terrain of deceitful tongues and to recognize the schemes of enemy in the name of Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 12 verse 6 affirms, And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. I pray on the strength of this truth that the purity of God's word guards your heart and minds and also of that of your family members against pollution of lies and deceptions in the name of Jesus. May the word of God be your foundation unshakable amidst the storms of slander and falsehood. I rebuke the power of every evil tongue and every malicious word spoken against your family. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the silencing of these destructive voices May authority in the name of Jesus Christ render ineffective every weapon formed through deceitful speech. I pray your family is shielded from the damaging effects of slander and deceit. I speak healing to the wounds inflicted by hurtful words in the name of Jesus. In accordance to Psalm 12 verse 7, You Lord will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked. I pray that the comfort and peace of the Lord is poured out upon your family that has been affected by the arrows of slander. I pray restoration and wholeness to the affected hearts and minds in your family. I pray against any bitterness and hatred that build in the heart of members of your family against those who speak malicious words against them. I pray that they are enabled to rise above the negativity of evil tongues and to stand firm in the truth of God's word in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 12 verse 13, may the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. I pray that the Lord will silence all the flattering lips and boastful tongues that seek to prevail against your family. I declare that no tongue can stand against the authority of the name of Jesus backing you up. I pray that the lips of those who speak against your family be humbled before acknowledging that Christ alone is Lord over all in the name of Jesus. I pray discernment for your family to recognize manipulation and falsehood as I pray that their hearts 
is guarded against the lies that surround them. I pray the deception concealed in the hearts of those who flatter with their leaves are exposed in the name of Jesus. I also pray that your family will not succumb to the provocations designed to unsettle their spirits. When faced with the stumbling blocks of manipulative speech, I pray your family remains unshaken and steadfast on the word in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will vindicate your family as in Psalm 140 verse 12. But I know the Lord will help those they persecute. He will give justice to the poor. I pray calmness for your family and the storms of conflict and hostility brewed by those whose tongues sow discard and strive. I pray that their surroundings be filled with peace and soothing of the turmoil created by the divisive words of the malicious in the name of Jesus. I pray resilience and fortitude to rise above the chaos caused by malicious words. I pray that your family steps be ordered into the right direction so they do not cross part with those who plot mischief and spread the poison of the words against them. Their schemes shall be thwarted by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 140 verses 4 and 5, Keep me safe, Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who devise ways to trip my feet. I pray that from the deceitful schemes and calculated words aimed at causing your family distress, they are protected in the name of Jesus as I pray that they are safeguarded from the violence of words and actions meant to stumble and hinder their progress. The family steps are guarded against the traps set by those who seek to undermine their journey from today onward in Jesus' mighty and protective name we pray. Amen. As a believer and in accordance with your faith, you've been instructed to stand resolute, recognizing that you have not just given existence, but endowed with a spirit of sound mind. It's crucial to discern that the stories of fear and faith resonate in the rhythm of your attentive hearts. Reflect on the moment where Gideon, hesitating before the battlefield, received the angel's comforting proclamation, God is with you. This mirrors the timeless reality that with the Almighty beside you, no opposition can endure. Embedded deep within your very core, God establishes his dwelling, an unceasing wellspring of boundless love and unwavering assurance, dismantling any justification for fear. So embrace the profound realization that the abiding presence surpasses the strength of any external force. And this sacred exchange of prayer, recall Psalm 34 verse 4, and I quote, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Now the Lord is ever ready to rescue you from fear. So if only you can join me as I raise my voice in prayer on your behalf and on my behalf, standing against the grip of fear. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. O oh, loving Father, I express my thanks to you for your beloved children, grateful for your unwavering faithfulness. I lift away all worries concerning them and their family, guiding them securely from each challenge. As I ask you, Lord God, to expose and remove the deep-seated roots of anxiety within the family's hearts. And so I address you that may the truths of God's word echo through your family establishing an unshakable foundation resilient against fear storms in the name of Jesus. Surrendering your family's fears at his feet I do right now as I trust in his perfect love that casts out all fears as stated in 1 John 4 18 may the Lord infuse you with his love dispelling anxiety and bringing tranquility. May your family encounter profound peace that surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus. I reject the spirit of fear that seeks to paralyze you and your family. May the authority of Christ triumph over every anxious thought and emotion in your family members. 
be felt may the holy spirit guide each one as they replace fear with faith uncertainty with confidence trusting in god the author and the perfecter of their faith may every family member move forward with renewed strength fortified by god's word and surrounded by his unwavering love and in the powerful and comforting name of jesus i pray before the throne of grace as i intercede for you and your family whose hearts are entangled under the grip of fear i stand on the solid foundation of god's word seeking refuge and promises that resonate with strength and assurance for you in the name of jesus i bring your family before the throne of god's grace relying on the assurance from isaiah 49 verse 10 which proclaims do not be afraid for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous right hand acknowledging the challenges and uncertainties your family encounters may you firmly grasp the truth that god's presence is a powerful antidote to fear may you and your family sense his nearness in moments of apprehension may the lord strengthen you and your family echoing the sentiment of second timothy chapter 1 verse 7 confirming that the lord has not given you a spirit of fear but of power love and a sound mind may the lord shatter the chains of anxiety seeking to entangle the thoughts and emotions of every family member May his power surge through your family, infuse and encourage love and a clear, unwavering mind that stands firm against the waves of fear. As your family journeys through shadows, I proclaim the assurance of Psalm 23 verse 4. Even though you pass through the darkest valley, you will fear no evil for the Lord is with you. His rod and his staff, they bring you comfort. And so may the Lord be the guiding presence in the life of every of your family member, dispelling fear with the assurance of his constant companionship. May the comfort and touch of his rod and staff ease all concerns for you and your family, leading you safely through trial. I anchor my supplication in the words of Psalm 27 verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I declare this truth over you and your family members' life. That the Lord shall be your radiant light, dispelling the shadows of fear. He shall be your family's salvation, the ultimate rescue from the clutches of anxiety. He will remain an unshakable stronghold that renders fear powerless for your family in Jesus' name. I petition the throne of grace in agreement with you, earnestly seeking the release of your family from the chains of fear. Let the command of God's courage that comes from Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 resonate within your being, igniting the strength that can only come from God's presence. May the peace promised in Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 descend upon your family, settling like a gentle dove bringing tranquility to the turbulent waters of your family member's soul. And in the profound truth of Psalm 27 verse 1, may your family find confidence knowing that with God as their light and stronghold, fear has no place. I lift up this prayer with unwavering trust in God's ability. Yes, to dispel fear and replace it with the courage that comes from knowing Him. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And so in the name of Jesus, I uplift the spirit of your family, declaring the directive to be strong and courageous as God's divine presence accompanies every step taken by you and your family. May the realization of God's unwavering companionship dispel the shadows of fear encroaching upon the souls of you and your family members may all of you find comfort in the words of philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to god and the peace of god which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in christ jesus and so in the name of jesus i place the anxieties of you and your family at his feet 
wrapped in the cloak of prayer and gratitude as I intercede on your behalf. May the Lord envelope the hearts and minds of your family members with a surpassing peace, a peace that surpasses understanding and serves as an impenetrable guard against the onslaught of fear. In the powerful name of Jesus, our ultimate wellspring of strength, and I proclaim in the resounding verses of Psalm 27 that you and your family need not fear anything. For the one with you is greater. May the Lord be an unassailable fortress for your family, impervious to the anxieties attempting to encroach. May the resonance of this truth reverberate within your family, drowning the moments of fear with a steadfast declaration that no fear can prevail in God's presence. I dismiss the stronghold of fear and establish a secure foundation of faith amid uncertainty. I lay claim to the certainty of God's abiding presence. I pray that your family walks in the assurance that with God as your stronghold, fear holds no sway. I pronounce a blessing of peace upon your family. May the truth of Psalm 27 verse 1 be engraved upon your heart. A constant reminder that in God's light, fear dissipates and in God's fortress, courage takes root. In the mighty and prevailing name of Jesus, I pray. The assurance Jesus gave us in John 14, 27 is a distinct gift from the Lord. As expressed, I leave you peace. I give you my peace. I don't give it to you as the world gives. Don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. This divine peace is not merely the absence of turmoil, but a constant sense of tranquility and contentment stemming from unwavering trust in God's sovereignty and goodness. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 encourage believers to present their concerns to God in prayer, leading to an extraordinary peace that guards their thoughts and emotions in Christ Jesus. Ultimately, the peace of God is a bestowed one or a gift and a product of spiritual growth and connection with God, allowing one to surrender his or our worries, fears, and anxieties to God. This aligns with Jesus' words in John 16, 33. And I have told you these things so that you may have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. The Lord desires you to experience this unique peace. So join me in this prayer to ensure your family embraces this divine tranquility. Let us pray. Just as the psalmist acknowledges the Lord's blessings of strength and peace in Psalm 29 verse 11, that says the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Father, in the name that is above every other name, I come with thanksgiving knowing that as I earnestly for your abundant blessings upon everyone under the sound of my voice, the Lord, they are blessed with an overwhelming sense of presence of peace to reign within their hearts and within the walls of their home. I pray that you would experience the richness of divine peace which will be tangible in your daily lives, influencing your thoughts, words and actions. I pray that the mighty hand of the Lord would be upon you, providing you with peace which will give strength to face life challenges, courage and resilience in Jesus' name. In the midst of busy schedules and external pressures, I pray that you prioritize moments of stillness and reflection, allowing on the peace of the Almighty Father to permeate every corner of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, May your home be a sanctuary of peace, radiating the warmth of love of the Father to all who enter it. Isaiah 26 verse 12 says, Lord, you establish peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. I ask for the peace to descend upon you. And in the midst of any turmoil or uncertainty you may be facing, May the peace of the Lord envelope your hearts and minds. Let it be a soothing balm in moments of distress and a steadfast anchor in times of uncertainty in Jesus' name. I pray for you 
May you have the assurance that the ultimate source of peace is found in Christ alone. May his calming presence be left within your heart, bringing harmony where there is discord, healing where there is brokenness, and restoration where there is division. The relationships within your family, I declare, they are marked by understanding, forgiveness, and compassion. Our pray love and unity is fostered in every environment of your relationships where each member of supports and encourages one another growing stronger together in faith and resilience. I declare victory over the spiritual battle that you may be facing. In the name of Jesus, I nullify every scheme, plan or assignment of the enemy aimed at disrupting your peace. I speak harmony and unity into your life by the authority bestowed upon us through Jesus Christ. I bind and break every stronghold of darkness, releasing Jesus' perfect peace over you in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God in Psalm 72 verse 7 proclaims, In his days may the righteous flourish and peace abound till the moon be no more. Therefore I ask in the name of Jesus, the righteousness to flourish within the, your heart and peace to overflow in your life. I speak the ushering of peace and abundance into every facet of your life in the name of Jesus. May the atmosphere of your home be saturated with the peace that comes from walking in the righteous ways of the Lord. As I pray abounding peace for you, I also pray for the community around you. May peace radiate from your home, influencing those you encounter May you be used as an instrument of peace for the Lord, spreading the fragrance of God's love to neighbors, friends, and beyond. I put your destiny in the competent custody of the Father. May you always be accompanied by peace as you move through the challenges of life. I declare you are protected from life storms in the name of Jesus, and you always find peace, whether in happy or sad times. The word of God in Psalm 4 verse 8 reminds us of the promise of the Father to grant peace and rest to those who trust in Him. And I pray for that same peace to descend upon you, embracing each member of your family with it. I pray for you to lie down in peace, knowing that the Lord makes everyone dwell in safety. May you experience being surrounded with loving arms of the Father, shielding them from any harm of fear, granting them peace in the name of Jesus. And the words of Matthew 11:28, where the Lord offered, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I pray as you navigate the trials that weigh heavy on your heart, may you find comfort in the promise of the Lord of rest and peace. I pray for peace to descend upon you like a gentle dove, soothing troubled hearts and quieting restless spirits. As you navigate these uncertain waters, may your faith in God grow stronger. May you find comfort in the assurance that the Lord is walking beside you every step of the way, offering guidance, strength and everlasting source of hope. I come against any spiritual forces of darkness that may seek to disturb the peace within you and I rebuke any forms of discord, fear, and turmoil in the authority of the name of Jesus. I declare that anywhere they are locking in the spiritual realm, hindering the manifestation of the peace of your life, they are destroyed in Jesus' name. Daniel 10 19 says, And he said, O man greatly loved, fear not, peace be with you, be strong and of good courage. And as he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. So I declare, as Daniel was encouraged not to fear but to be strong, I pray for strength for you. You're equipped with spiritual armor to withstand any attacks on their peace and unity. May you stand firm in faith, trusting in the Lord's protection and provision. I bind and cast out every spirit of strife, contention and confusion that attempts to infiltrate your relationships and I proclaim peace as a force that shows and guards your hearts and minds over your lives creating an impenetrable fortress against the schemes of the enemy thank you Lord Jesus as I thank you also knowing that courage and strength is already there for them as they face spiritual opposition targeting their peace we we'll receive peace and tranquility for we know you have answered our prayers. 
In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen. As a child of God, you have been given victory over death because of Christ's victory. Revelation 1.18 says, And I am the living one. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of death and Hades. The keys of death are in the hands of Christ. Therefore, as a co-heir with Christ, you have dominion over death. In Christ, life and abundance has been bestowed unto you. As in John 10, 10 b says, I am come that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. You can join as I pray against the power of death in your family with authority of Christ that has been given to us. In the name of Jesus, I offer this prayer with a fervent appeal for life to triumph over death and for hope to prevail over despair. May the presence of God bring comfort, strength and peace, transcending the limits of your understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I raise my voice in earnest prayer against the shadows of death that may try to envelope you and your family. Boldly I am standing before the throne of grace, armed with the potent truth of John 11:26, as I declare with unwavering faith that as your family believes in Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, they will live despite facing the temporary grip of death. In this moment, I reject the hold of fear and claim the victory that Christ has secured for you and your family over the realms of mortality in the name of Jesus. I invoke the assurance of Revelation 21.4 in the name of Jesus. I declare that the day will come when the tears streaming down your face will be wiped away by the tender hand of our Heavenly Father. The promise resonates with authority. There will be no more death, mourning, crying or pain. The old order of things will pass away, making room for divine restoration and eternal joy. I affirm that the mercy of the Lord is poured out upon you and your family. His grace and mercy upon you and your family. In the face of the unknown and the threat of mortality, may the truth of these verses anchor your souls. May the belief in Jesus Christ resonate within you and your family as a powerful force dispelling the shadows and ushering in the brilliance of life in Jesus name. As I stand against the forces of death, I rebuke any lingering doubts or fears that may assail your family members' spirits. May the resurrection power of Jesus be evident in every fiber of their being, breaking the chains that death attempts to impose. I declare that you and your family are more than conquerors through him who loves you and no darkness can withstand the illuminating life of Christ's victory in the name of Jesus. I sincerely pray for you and your family asking for strength and resilience. May you courageously confront the challenges ahead with unshakable faith. May the Lord enfold you and your family in the comforting embrace of his love, shielding all your family members from the immobilized and fear that death often imposes on mortal minds in the name of Jesus. As you journey through this difficult time, may God's guidance lead you and your family with wisdom and discernment. Let his support and assurance symbolized by his staff strengthen your trust in God's unwavering promises. May the Lord bestow upon you and your family the ability to walk confidently, recognizing that even in your darkest moments, the light of God penetrates through the shadows. Your word declares, Lord God Almighty, in Psalm 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I claim this promise for you and your family, who now face the uncertainty of life's most formidable adversary. May you and your family Find solace and courage in the assurance that his presence accompanies you and your family through every step of this daunting journey. In the face of death's taunting presence, I echo the triumphant proclamation of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 55, declaring, Where, O death, 
is your victory. Where, O oh, death, is your sting. We defy the power of death through the victory won by the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And in that name, I nullify the grip of fear and despair that seeks entangle your spirit. Let the truth of Christ triumph resonate in your heart, dismantling the hold that death seeks to impose. Isaiah 25 verse 8 resonates in the corridors of eternity, proclaiming he will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth. And in this moment of distress, I cling to this promise of ultimate victory over death. May God's divine intervention obliterate the power of death over you and your family, bringing forth a manifestation of his glory and grace in your family members' life. May the Lord surround you and your family with a peace that goes beyond comprehension, confronting the unknown. May the certainty of God's promises serve as your anchor. I affirm the realization of Revelation 21.4 in your life. Declaring the elimination of tears, the absence of death, of mourning, crying and pain. God's divine order prevails over your life in the name of Jesus. I present this prayer as a shield of faith against encroaching shadows. May the authority of God's word be established and may you remain steadfast in the assurance that in Jesus' death is overcome and eternal life awaits. In the midst of grief and the looming presence of death, I approach the throne of grace with heavy and burdened heart. I stand on the solid foundation of God's word, particularly in Revelation 21.4, where he promises to wipe away every tear and abolish death itself. I pray that untimely death is eradicated from your family's life and that long life with the Lord satisfies you and your family. For your family member facing the harsh reality of mortality, I invoke the authority of God's word. And I confidently state that the promise as conveyed by the Apostle Paul is not merely a distant hope, but a present reality for you. Amid sorrow, I declare that God, who removes the sting of death, provides eternal comfort. Relying on the assurance in Psalm 91 verse 16, which asserts, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I lift up your family members up. My plea is anchored in the promise of abundant life that you, O oh Lord, extend to those who seek your refuge. I pray for the Lord to surround your family members with divine protection, guarding against the looming specter of death. As I affirm the truth of the scripture over your family, I declare that God's desire for you is a life filled with purpose, joy and fulfillment. May you experience the richness of days lived in accordance with God's will, liberated from the grip of premature death. I reject any plans of the enemy aiming to cut short the journey God has ordained for your family. May divine satisfaction overflow into every aspect of your existence, ushering in a life marked by grace, mercy and favor. May the Lord grant to you and your family the wisdom to walk in obedience to God's word and may the promise of satisfaction and long life be a testament to God's faithfulness in your life. I entrust the days of your family members into the loving hands of God, believing that his perfect will unfolds longevity and purpose in the mighty and matchless name of the resurrected Jesus, I pray. Amen. The plan of the enemy is to kill, steal, and destroy. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 says, Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. This is why you, as a believer, must be alert and prayerful at all times so as not to give chance to the devil to carry out any of his plans in your life. Be prayerful about the plans of God in your life. For Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. This is so as not to give space to the enemy to have his way. So join me as I pray against the plans of the enemy against your home. In the mighty name of Jesus, 
I pray against the influence of evil forces that may seek to enter your home right now. I declare that your home is consecrated to the Lord, a sanctuary where his love and grace abound in the name of Jesus. I speak Proverbs 12 verse 21 over your family. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. I pray that the divine presence of the Lord fills every room, dispelling any agents of the enemy that is lurking in the corners of your home to carry out the plans of the enemy in Jesus' name. May you take shelter in the assurance that the righteous are under watchful care of the Lord, and I proclaim that your home is under the watchful eyes of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I pray that your home is shielded from any harm or negativity that may attempt to infiltrate it. In the name of Jesus, I reject any form of wickedness that may try to enter your home in Jesus' name. I pray that your eyes are open in your home to discern the evil plans the enemy may have planned and that they will not succeed in the name of Jesus. I pray for light on the path of every family member, guiding them away from the pitfalls of the evil plans of the enemy. The word of God in Revelation 12, 11 declares that you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. I therefore would plead the blood of Jesus over your home, invoking the overcoming power inherent in a sacrifice against any evil plans formed against your family. I proclaim that the blood of Jesus be a fortress against all forces of darkness as they want to invade your home to cause a wreck. I stand firm on this assurance that through the blood of Jesus, your home is victorious over every scheme and attack of the enemy. I declare and affirm that your home is protected by the redeeming power of the blood of Jesus. I declare that your home also testifies to the greatness of the Lord's mercy, grace and protection. I pray that your family's faith is strengthened and are empowered to live boldly in the victory secured by Jesus' blood in Jesus' name. I pray that the love that caused Christ to shed his blood for your home brings peace, joy and divine protection in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 10 and 11 assures us that no evil shall befall your home nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Therefore, I plead the precious blood of Jesus over every inch of this home, symbolizing an ultimate shield against any plague or evil that befall your home. I pray that the blood of Jesus act as a barrier, preventing any evil influence or destructive force from entering your home. May the sacred covering serve render your home inaccessible to any evil entity in the name of Jesus. I declare that your home is sanctified by the power of Christ's blood. I declare the blood of Jesus cleanses and purifies the surroundings of your home, driving out any lingering darkness over your home. Psalm 34, 7 declares the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. I call forth angels of the Lord to encamp around your home in the name of Jesus. Let them stand as a formidable shoulder against the schemes of the enemy that seeks to destroy your home. And in the authority of the name of Jesus, I rebuke any evil that attempts to take root within your home. Every spirit of discord, fear or deception fashioned against your home, I command them to flee in the name of Jesus. I pray for a hedge of protection around each member of your family physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I declare that there is order by the Lord leading away from the evil plans from the enemy. I pray that your home is guarded from negative plans directed towards your home. I also declare that every evil plan, every scheme devised by the enemy to bring harm or destruction to your home is nullified in the face of God's omnipotent presence in Jesus' name. Psalm 140 verses 1 and 2 say, Rescue me, Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent who devise evil plans in their hearts and stir up war every day. I pray that your home is rescued from every evil plans targeted towards it. In the name of Jesus, and I pray that every evil plan against your home is nullified. I declare that the schemes and actions of those who seek to cause havoc 
in your home is annulled in the name of Jesus. You are protected from the violence of plans and deeds aimed at your home and its well-being. May your home be upheld in the embrace of the Father which raises a barrier to prevent it from harm that comes from the plans of the enemy. I pray for peace to reign in your home despite the storms, plans of the enemy that may rage around you. I pray that you shall not be weighed down by the intentions of those who have ill will against you. In the shadow of the love of the Father, I pray your home finds solace and strength in the name of Jesus. According to Jeremiah 17, 18, let them be confounded that persecute me, but let me not be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but let me not be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. I pray against plans of every enemy made to persecute your home. I declare that their efforts are confounded in the name of Jesus. And I declare that every of their plans over your life is disrupted. Every strategy aimed at bringing harm to your household is disrupted. I declare the confusion raised in the camp of the wicked that plans evil against your family. In accordance to Psalm 37 verse 40, I pray over your home that the Lord will help your home and deliver your home from the wicked, saving your home because you trust in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord empowers your family to resist the schemes of the evil one consistently wearing the armor of righteousness as your home's protection guarding your home against spiritual attacks in the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus we pray Amen Our Heavenly Father is a deliverer Isaiah 12 2 says look God is my deliverer I will trust in him and not fear He hears when his children call upon him. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you. The children of Israel did it. Exodus 2, 23 to 25. But the Israelites continued to groan under their budding of slavery. They cried out for help and their cry rose up to God. God heard their groaning and he remembered his covenant promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He looked down on the people of Israel and knew it was time to act. The Lord is always ready to rescue his children from the clutches of the enemy. You can key into this prayer as I pray for deliverance for you from any attack of the enemy. The word of God in Psalm 18 verse 48 says, You have delivered us from our enemies and exalted us above those who rise against us. I declare that the Lord alone is your rock, your fortress and your deliverer, rescuing you from the snares of the enemy that entangles you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cover you with the full armor of God. By the authority given to me through Jesus Christ, We command the enemy to flee from your life. I bind the schemes of the enemy that seeks to kill, steal and destroy in the name of Jesus. And I reject any foothold the enemy seeks to establish in your life. In the name of Jesus, I break every bondage over your life and declare freedom over your life in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 27 verse 1, I declare that the Lord is your light and salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the stronghold of your lives. Of whom shall you be afraid? I pray that the Lord upholds you with his righteous right hand and grants you victory over the schemes of the evil one. In the face of the enemy's schemes, I declare that the love of the Father surrounds you and you take refuge in his unwavering faithfulness. For he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the works of the enemy that seek to steal your peace, joy and the abundant life the Lord has promised you in his word. You receive it even now by the authority given to us. Through Jesus Christ, I cast out every spirit of fear, doubt and confusion that hinders you from fully embracing the promises of the Father in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 138 verse 7, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. 
you will stretch forth your hand against the wrath of my enemies and your right hand would save me i pray for light for you when you tread through the valleys of challenges casting out the darkness that attempts to engulf you i declare that this happens to you in the name of jesus may you stand firm in the face of the adversities for you are more than conqueror through Christ who loves you. In Jesus' name, I break every chain that binds you, whether it is the chains of sin, oppression, or despair. The truth sets you free, and I declare freedom over every area of your life. I pray that you are empowered to resist temptation that may lead you into the trap of the enemy. I pray grace for you continually in walking in righteousness, leading you from the path of destruction. As you march into the battles of life, I declare the promise from Deuteronomy 20 verse 4. You go with us to fight against our enemies and to save us. I pray that the presence of the Lord goes before you, leading the way to victory. We rely on your guidance and protection, Lord God, knowing that in you we find our strength. And so I declare the victory reigns over your business and career. In the name of Jesus, I bind and rebuke every force of darkness that seeks to obstruct your path for no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises against you in judgment is already condemned. According to Psalm 44 verse 7, but you have saved us from our adversaries and you have put to shame those who hate us. I declare your victory over your adversaries at work. I place your career and business endeavors into the capable hands of the Lord. I pray every form of darkness in your workplace is exposed in the name of Jesus. And I pray that your eyes are enlightened to recognize the strategies of the enemy in business. I pray wisdom to navigate challenges with grace and integrity in the name of Jesus. I pray that every anxieties, fears and uncertainties that you have about your job is replaced with the peace of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. I surrender your family into the loving hands of the Father. In accordance with Psalm 18 verse 19 which says, he brought me out into a spacious place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. I pray that the power of the Lord leads your family into a spacious place of deliverance and harmony. I declare the victory is your family's portion. As I rebuke every plan of the enemy to sow discord, strive or harm within your family unit, in the name of Jesus, I bind any attack from the enemy that opposes the well-being of your family members as I break the chains of fear, doubt and discouragement targeted at your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that your family stands firm in the assurance that the Lord is your refuge and fortress, your ever present help in times of trouble. And just as the psalmist from the hands of his enemies was delivered, may God's mighty hand deliver your family from the clutches of the enemy in the name of Jesus. I declare the promise of the Father in Psalms 34:17. The righteous cries out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. Over you, in the face of adversity, you are delivered. I renounce any foothold that the enemy may have gained in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare the cleansing power of the precious blood of Jesus Christ washes away every stain and stronghold, breaking the chains that bind you in the name of Jesus. I break every generational curse, every evil assignment, and every chain that seeks to hinder progress and your walk with the Father in the name of Jesus. By the power of his resurrection, I break every chain and stronghold that the enemy has attempted to place upon you as I declare that the mighty angels of the Lord are dispatched to surround and guard you. I declare that they wage war against the spiritual forces of evil on your behalf in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any demonic oppression or hindrance that may be at work in your life. According to Psalm 59 verse 1, Deliver me from my enemies, O my God, set me securely on high, away from those who rise up against me. I release the power of God 
to bring deliverance, healing, and restoration in every area where the enemy has sought to wreak havoc. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke every spiritual entity that opposes the perfect will of God for your life. As I pray you abound in deliverance from every attack, oppression, and influence from the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. The assurance Jesus gave us in John 14, 27 is a distinct gift from the Lord. As expressed, I leave you peace. I give you my peace. I don't give it to you as the world gives. Don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. This divine peace is not merely the absence of turmoil, but a constant sense of tranquility and contentment stemming from unwavering trust in God's sovereignty and goodness. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7 encourage believers to present their concerns to God in prayer, leading to an extraordinary peace that guards their thoughts and emotions in Christ Jesus. Ultimately, the peace of God is a bestowed one or a gift and a product of spiritual growth and connection with God, allowing one to surrender his or our worries, fears, and anxieties to God. This aligns with Jesus' words in John 16, 33. And I have told you these things so that you may have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. The Lord desires you to experience this unique peace. So join me in this prayer to ensure your family embraces this divine tranquility. Let us pray. Just as the psalmist acknowledges the Lord's blessings of strength and peace in Psalm 29 verse 11, that says the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Father, in the name that is above every other name, I come with thanksgiving, knowing that as I earnestly for your abundant blessings upon everyone under the sound of my voice, the Lord, they are blessed with an overwhelming sense of presence of peace to reign within their hearts and within the walls of their home. I pray that you would experience the richness of divine peace which will be tangible in your daily lives, influencing your thoughts, words and actions. I pray that the mighty hand of the Lord would be upon you, providing you with peace which will give strength to face life challenges, courage and resilience in Jesus' name. In the midst of busy shadows and external pressures, I pray that you prioritize moments of stillness and reflection, allowing on the peace of the Almighty Father to permeate every corner of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, may your home be a sanctuary of peace, radiating the warmth of love of the Father to all who enter it. Isaiah 26 verse 12 says, Lord, you established peace for us. All that we have accomplished, you have done for us. I ask for the peace to descend upon you. And in the midst of any turmoil or uncertainty you may be facing, may the peace of the Lord envelop your hearts and minds. Let it be a soothing balm in moments of distress and a steadfast anchor in times of uncertainty in Jesus' name. I pray for you. May you have the assurance that the ultimate source of peace is found in Christ alone. May his calming presence be left within your heart, bringing harmony where there is discord, healing where there is brokenness, and restoration where there is division. The relationships within your family, I declare, they are marked by understanding, forgiveness, and compassion. Our pray love and unity is fostered in every environment of your relationships where each member of support and encourages one another growing stronger together in faith and resilience. I declare victory over the spiritual battle that you may be facing. In the name of Jesus, I nullify every scheme, plan or assignment of the enemy aimed at disrupting your peace. I speak harmony and unity into your life. By the authority bestowed upon us through Jesus Christ, I bind and break every stronghold of darkness, releasing Jesus' perfect peace over you in the mighty name of Jesus. 
The word of God in Psalm 72 verse 7 proclaims, In his days may the righteous flourish and peace abound till the moon be no more. Therefore I ask in the name of Jesus, the righteousness to flourish within the, your heart and peace to overflow in your life. I speak the ushering of peace and abundance into every facet of your life in the name of Jesus. May the atmosphere of your home be saturated with the peace that comes from walking in the righteous ways of the Lord. As I pray abounding peace for you, I also pray for the community around you. May peace radiate from your home, influencing those you encounter May you be used as an instrument of peace for the Lord, spreading the fragrance of God's love to neighbors, friends, and beyond. I put your destiny in the competent custody of the Father. May you always be accompanied by peace as you move through the challenges of life. I declare you are protected from life storms in the name of Jesus, and you always find peace, whether in happy or sad times. The word of God in Psalm 4 verse 8 reminds us of the promise of the Father to grant peace and rest to those who trust in Him. And I pray for that same peace to descend upon you, embracing each member of your family with it. I pray for you to lie down in peace, knowing that the Lord makes everyone dwell in safety. May you experience being surrounded with loving arms of the Father, shielding them from any harm of fear, granting them peace in the name of Jesus. And the words of Matthew 11, 28, where the Lord offered, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. I pray as you navigate the trials that weigh heavy on your heart, may you find comfort in the promise of the Lord of rest and peace. I pray for peace to descend upon you like a gentle dove, soothing troubled hearts and quieting restless spirits. As you navigate these uncertain waters, may your faith in God grow stronger. May you find comfort in the assurance that the Lord is walking beside you every step of the way, offering guidance, strength, and everlasting source of hope. I come against any spiritual forces of darkness that may seek to disturb the peace within you, and I rebuke any forms of discord, fear, and turmoil in the authority of the name of Jesus. I declare that anywhere they are locking in the spiritual realm, hindering the manifestation of the peace of your life, they are destroyed in Jesus' name. Daniel 10, 19 says, And he said, O man greatly loved, fear not, peace be with you, be strong and of good courage. And as he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. So I declare, as Daniel was encouraged not to fear but to be strong, I pray for strength for you. You're equipped with spiritual armor to withstand any attacks on their peace and unity. May you stand firm in faith, trusting in the Lord's protection and provision. I bind and cast out every spirit of strife, contention and confusion that attempts to infiltrate your relationships. And I proclaim peace as a force that shows and guards your hearts and minds over your lives, creating an impenetrable fortress against the schemes of the enemy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As I thank you also, knowing that courage and strength is already there for them as they face spiritual opposition targeting their peace. We we'll receive peace and tranquility for we know you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. Amen. As a child of God, you have been given victory over death because of Christ's victory. Revelation 1.18 says, And I am the living one. I died and behold, I am alive forevermore. And I have the keys of death and haters. The keys of death are in the hands of Christ. Therefore, as a co-heir with Christ, you have dominion over death. In Christ, life and abundance has been bestowed unto you. As in John 10, 10 b says, I am come that they might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. You can join as I pray against the power of death in your family with authority of Christ that has been given to us. In the name of Jesus, I offer this prayer with a fervent appeal 
for life to triumph over death and for hope to prevail over despair. May the presence of God bring comfort, strength and peace, transcending the limits of your understanding. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, I raise my voice in earnest prayer against the shadows of death that may try to envelop you and your family. Boldly I am standing before the throne of grace, armed with the potent truth of John 11:26, as I declare with unwavering faith that as your family believes in Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, they will live despite facing the temporary grip of death. In this moment, I reject the hold of fear and claim the victory that Christ has secured for you and your family over the realms of mortality in the name of Jesus. I invoke the assurance of Revelation 21.4 in the name of Jesus. I declare that the day will come when the tears streaming down your face will be wiped away by the tender hand of our Heavenly Father. The promise resonates with authority. There will be no more death, mourning, crying or pain. The old order of things will pass away, making room for divine restoration and eternal joy. I affirm that the mercy of the Lord is poured out upon you and your family. His grace and mercy upon you and your family. In the face of the unknown and the threat of mortality, may the truth of these verses anchor your souls. May the belief in Jesus Christ resonate within you and your family as a powerful force dispelling the shadows and ushering in the brilliance of life in Jesus name as I stand against the forces of death I rebuke any lingering doubts or fears that may assail your family members spirits may the resurrection power of Jesus be evident in every fiber of their being breaking the chains that death attempts to impose I declare that you and your family are more than conquerors through him who loves you and no darkness can withstand the illuminating life of Christ's victory in the name of Jesus. I sincerely pray for you and your family asking for strength and resilience. May you courageously confront the challenges ahead with unshakable faith. May the Lord enfold you and your family in the comforting embrace of his love, shielding all your family members from the immobilizing fear that death often imposes on mortal minds in the name of Jesus. As you journey through this difficult time, may God's guidance lead you and your family with wisdom and discernment. Let his support and assurance symbolized by his staff strengthen your trust in God's unwavering promises. May the Lord bestow upon you and your family the ability to walk confidently, recognizing that even in your darkest moment, the light of God penetrates through the shadows. Your word declares, Lord God Almighty, in Psalm 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I claim this promise for you and your family, who now face the uncertainty of life's most formidable adversary. May you and your family find solace and courage in the assurance that his presence accompanies you and your family through every step of this daunting journey. In the face of death's taunting presence, I echo the triumphant proclamation of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 55, declaring where all oh death is your victory, where all oh death is your sting. We defy the power of death through the victory won by the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And in that name, I nullify the grip of fear and despair that seeks to entangle your spirit. Let the truth of Christ's triumph resonate in your heart, dismantling the hold that death seeks to impose. Isaiah 25 verse 8 resonates in the corridors of eternity, proclaiming, He will swallow up death forever. The Sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all faces. He will remove his people's disgrace from all the earth. And in this moment of distress, I cling to this promise of ultimate victory over death. May God's divine intervention obliterate the power of death over you and your family, bringing forth a manifestation of his glory and grace in your family members' lives. May the Lord surround you and your family with a peace that goes beyond comprehension, 
confronting the unknown. May the certainty of God's promises serve as your anchor. I affirm the realization of Revelation 21.4 in your life, declaring the elimination of tears, the absence of death, mourning, crying and pain. God's divine order prevails over your life in the name of Jesus. I present this prayer as a shield of faith against encroaching shadows. May the authority of God's word be established and may you remain steadfast in the assurance that in Jesus' death is overcome and eternal life awaits. In the midst of grief and the looming presence of death, I approach the throne of grace with heavy and burdened heart. I stand on the solid foundation of God's word, particularly in Revelation 21.4, where he promises to wipe away every tear that abolishes death itself. I pray that untimely death is eradicated from your family's life and that long life with the Lord satisfies you and your family. For your family member facing the harsh reality of mortality, I invoke the authority of God's word. And I confidently state that the promise as conveyed by the Apostle Paul is not merely a distant hope, but a present reality for you. Amidst sorrow, I declare that God, who removes the sting of death, provides eternal comfort. Relying on the assurance in Psalm 91 verse 16, which asserts, with long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I lift up your family members up. My plea is anchored in the promise of abundant life that you, O oh Lord, extend to those who seek your refuge. I pray for the Lord to surround your family members with divine protection, guarding against the looming specter of death. As I affirm the truth of the scripture over your family, I declare that God's desire for you is a life filled with purpose, joy, and fulfillment. May you experience the richness of days lived in accordance with God's will, liberated from the grip of premature death. I reject any plans of the enemy aiming to cut short the journey God has ordained for your family. May divine satisfaction overflow into every aspect of your existence, ushering in a life marked by grace, mercy and favor. May the Lord grant you and your family the wisdom to walk in obedience to God's word and may the promise of satisfaction and long life be a testament to God's faithfulness in your life. I entrust the days of your family members into the loving hands of God, believing that his perfect will unfolds longevity and purpose in the mighty and matchless name of the resurrected Jesus, I pray. Amen. The plan of the enemy is to kill, steal, and destroy. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 says, Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. This is why you, as a believer, must be alert and prayerful at all times so as not to give chance to the devil to carry out any of his plans in your life. Be prayerful about the plans of God in your life. For Jeremiah 29 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. This is so as not to give space to the enemy to have his way. So join me as I pray against the plans of the enemy against your home. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray against the influence of evil forces that may seek to enter your home right now. I declare that your home is consecrated to the Lord, a sanctuary where his love and grace abound in the name of Jesus. I speak Proverbs 12 verse 21 over your family. There shall no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. I pray that the divine presence of the Lord fills every room, dispelling any agents of the enemy that is locking in the corners of your home to carry out the plans of the enemy in Jesus' name. May you take shelter in the assurance that the righteous are under watchful care of the Lord, and I proclaim that your home is under the watchful eyes of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I pray that your home is shielded from any harm or negativity 
that may attempt to infiltrate it in the name of Jesus. I reject any form of wickedness that may try to enter your home in Jesus' name. I pray that your eyes are open in your home to discern the evil plans the enemy may have planned and that they will not succeed in the name of Jesus. I pray for light on the path of every family member, guiding them away from the pitfalls of the evil plans of the enemy. The word of God in Revelation 12, 11 declares that you overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. I therefore would plead the blood of Jesus over your home, invoking the overcoming power inherent in a sacrifice against any evil plans formed against your family. I proclaim that the blood of Jesus be a fortress against all forces of darkness as they want to invade your home to cause a wreck. I stand firm on this assurance that through the blood of Jesus, your home is victorious over every scheme and attack of the enemy. I declare and affirm that your home is protected by the redeeming power of the blood of Jesus. I declare that your home also testifies to the greatness of the Lord's mercy, grace and protection. I pray that your family's faith is strengthened and are empowered to live boldly in the victory secured by Jesus' blood in Jesus' name. I pray that the love that caused Christ to shed his blood for your home brings peace, joy and divine protection in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91 verses 10 and 11 assures us that no evil shall befall your home nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Therefore, I plead the precious blood of Jesus over every inch of this home, symbolizing an ultimate shield against any plague or evil that befall your home. I pray that the blood of Jesus act as a barrier, preventing any evil influence or destructive force from entering your home. May the sacred covering serve render your home inaccessible to any evil entity in the name of Jesus. I declare that your home is sanctified by the power of Christ's blood. I declare the blood of Jesus cleanses and purifies the surroundings of your home, driving out any lingering darkness over your home. Psalm 34, 7 declares the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. I call forth angels of the Lord to encamp around your home in the name of Jesus. Let them stand as a formidable shoulder against the schemes of the enemy that seeks to destroy your home. And in the authority of the name of Jesus, I rebuke any evil that attempts to take root within your home. Every spirit of discord, fear or deception fashioned against your home, I command them to flee in the name of Jesus. I pray for a hedge of protection around each member of your family physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I declare that there is order by the Lord leading away from the evil plans from the enemy. I pray that your home is guarded from negative plans directed towards your home. I also declare that every evil plan, every scheme devised by the enemy to bring harm or destruction to your home is nullified in the face of God's omnipotent presence in Jesus' name. Psalm 140 verses 1 and 2 say, Rescue me, Lord, from evildoers. Protect me from the violent who devise evil plans in their hearts and stir up war every day. I pray that your home is rescued from every evil plans targeted towards it. In the name of Jesus, and I pray that every evil plan against your home is nullified. I declare that the schemes and actions of those who seek to cause havoc in your home is annulled in the name of Jesus. You are protected from the violence of plans and deeds aimed at your home and its well-being. May your home be upheld in the embrace of the Father which raises a barrier to prevent it from harm that comes from the plans of the enemy. I pray for peace to reign in your home despite the storms plans of the enemy that may rage around you. I pray that you shall not be weighed down by the intentions of those who have ill will against you. In the shadow of the love of the Father, I pray your home finds solace and strength in the name of Jesus. According to Jeremiah 17, 18, let them be confounded that persecute me, but let me not be confounded. Let them be dismayed, but let me not be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. I pray against 
plans of every enemy made to persecute your home. I declare that their efforts are confounded in the name of Jesus. And I declare that every of their plans over your life is disrupted. Every strategy aimed at bringing harm to your household is disrupted. I declare the confusion reigns in the camp of the wicked that plans evil against your family. In accordance to Psalm 37 verse 40, I pray over your home that the Lord will help your home and deliver your home from the wicked, saving your home because you trust in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord empowers your family to resist the schemes of the evil one consistently wearing the armor of righteousness as your home's protection, guarding your home against spiritual attacks. In the mighty and the matchless name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. It is known that words can be used to build or break people and things. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 11.9 says, Evil words destroy, godly skill rebuilds. This is why the enemy through men can speak evil words over you and that will result to death. But then the scripture which is full of life can be used to dismantle evil words spoken over you or your family as it says in 2 Corinthians 10 verses 4 and 5. Our weapon for battling challenges aren't worthy. They possess divine might to demolish strongholds. We refute arguments and every exalted opinion that contradicts God's truth taking captive every thought to align with Christ. And so I encourage you to join me in this prayer as I pray against evil words spoken over you or your family. So let's pray. The word of God in Psalms 140 verses 1 and 2 say, Rescue me, Lord, from evil doers. Protect me from the violent who devise evil plans in their hearts and stir up war every day. I pray in the name of Jesus for your family that they are rescued from every falsehood spoken against them. I pray that they are delivered from the snares of those who seek to devour them with their tongues, from the schemes and actions of those who seek to destroy you through their wicked speech or action. Your family is covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. Your family is protected from the violence of words and deeds aimed at their reputation and well-being. May your family be upheld in the embrace of the Father which raises a barrier to prevent them from harm that comes from the tongues of the malicious in Jesus' name. I pray for peace to reign in the heart of each of your family member despite the storms of slander that may rage around them. I pray that they shall not be weighed down by the intentions of those who have a ill will against them. And in the name of Jesus, I declare that in the shadow of the love of the Father, I pray that your family find solace and strength. I declare that every darkness created by the words spoken against your family is dissipated. I declare that your family is graced to respond with grace and wisdom in the face of adversity, knowing that justice from the Lord will prevail in Jesus' name. I pray that your family is protected by the Lord from the harm caused by those who use their tongues deceitfully, as stated in Psalms 12 verse 5, because the poor are plundered and the needy grown. I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. I proclaim that justice prevails over every malicious intention aimed at your family's well-being in the name of Jesus. I beseech you the Lord to arise and intervene on your family's behalf to protect them from harm, from those who look to malign and harm your family through their works. I pray strength for any members wounded by the arrows of verbal assault in Jesus' name. May the comfort and presence of the Lord encircle them and offering peace and fortitude in the midst of spiritual battles in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every lying tongue and deceitful mouth that seeks to harm and destroy your family in the name of Jesus. I command the power of these evil tongues to be silenced as I pray that every hidden agenda aimed at your family be exposed. I pray wisdom to navigate through the treacherous terrain of deceitful tongues and to recognize the schemes of enemy in the name of Jesus. 
The word of God in Psalm 12 verse 6 affirms, And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in the crucible, like gold refined seven times. I pray on the strength of this truth, that the purity of God's word guards your heart and minds, and also of that of your family members against pollution of lies and deceptions in the name of Jesus. May the word of God be your foundation, unshakable amidst the storms of slander and falsehood. I rebuke the power of every evil tongue and every malicious word spoken against your family. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I command the silencing of these destructive voices. May authority in the name of Jesus Christ render ineffective every weapon formed through deceitful speech. I pray your family is shielded from the damaging effects of slander and deceit. I speak healing to the wounds inflicted by hurtful words in the name of Jesus. In accordance to Psalm 12 verse 7, You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked. I pray that the comfort and peace of the Lord is poured out upon your family that has been affected by the arrows of slander. I pray restoration and wholeness to the affected hearts and minds in your family. I pray against any bitterness and hatred that build in the heart of members of your family against those who speak malicious words against them. I pray that they are enabled to rise above the negativity of evil tongues and to stand firm in the truth of God's word in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 12 verse 13, May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. I pray that the Lord will silence all the flattering lips and boastful tongues that seek to prevail against your family. I declare that no tongue can stand against the authority of the name of Jesus backing you up. I pray that the lips of those who speak against your family be humbled before acknowledging that Christ alone is Lord over all in the name of Jesus. I pray discernment for your family to recognize manipulation and falsehood as I pray that their hearts is guarded against the lies that surround them. I pray the deception concealed in the hearts of those who flatter with their leaves are exposed in the name of Jesus. I also pray that your family will not succumb to the provocations designed to unsettle their spirits. When faced with the stumbling blocks of manipulative speech, I pray your family remains unshaken and steadfast on the word in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will vindicate your family as in Psalm 140 verse 12. But I know the Lord will help those they persecute. He will give justice to the poor. I pray calmness for your family. And the storms of conflict and hostility brewed by those whose tongues sow discard and strive. I pray that their surroundings be filled with peace and soothing of the turmoil created by the divisive words of the malicious in the name of Jesus. I pray resilience and fortitude to rise above the chaos caused by malicious words. I pray that your family steps be ordered into the right direction so they do not cross part with those who plot mischief and spread the poison of the words against them. Their schemes shall be thwarted by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus. According to Psalm 140 verses 4 and 5, Keep me safe, Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who devise ways to trip my feet. I pray that from the deceitful schemes and calculated words aimed at causing your family distress, they are protected in the name of Jesus as I pray that they are safeguarded from the violence of words and actions meant to stumble and hinder their progress. The family steps are guarded against the traps set by those who seek to undermine their journey. From today onward, in Jesus' mighty and protective name we pray. Amen. As a believer and in accordance with your faith, you've been instructed to stand resolute, recognizing that you have not just given existence, but endowed with a spirit of sound mind. It's crucial to discern that the stories of fear and faith resonate in the rhythm of your attentive hearts. Reflect on the moment where Gideon, hesitating before the battlefield, received the angel's comforting proclamation God is with you. 
This mirrors the timeless reality that with the Almighty beside you, no opposition can endure. Embedded deep within your very core, God establishes his dwelling, an unseasoned wellspring of boundless love and unwavering assurance, dismantling any justification for fear. So embrace the profound realization that the abiding presence surpasses the strength of any external force. And the sacred exchange of prayer, recall Psalm 34 verse 4, and I quote, I sought the Lord and he answered me. He delivered me from all my fears. Now the Lord is ever ready to rescue you from fear. So if only you can join me as I raise my voice in prayer on your behalf and on my behalf, standing against the grip of fear. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. O oh, loving Father, I express my thanks to you for your beloved children, grateful for your unwavering faithfulness. I lift away all worries concerning them and their family, guiding them securely from each challenge. As I ask you, Lord God, to expose and remove the deep-seated roots of anxiety within the family's hearts. And so I address you that may the truths of God's word echo through your family, establishing an unshakable foundation, resilient against fear storms in the name of Jesus. Surrendering your family's fears at his feet, I do right now as I trust in his perfect love that casts out all fears. As stated in 1 John 4, 18, may the Lord infuse you with his love, dispelling anxiety and bringing tranquility. May your family encounter profound peace that surpasses all understanding in the name of Jesus. I reject the spirit of fear that seeks to paralyze you and your family. May the authority of Christ triumph over every anxious thought and emotion in your family members be felt. May the Holy Spirit guide each one as they replace fear with faith, uncertainty with confidence, trusting in God, the author and the perfecter of their faith. May every family member move forward with renewed strength, fortified by God's word and surrounded by his unwavering love. And in the powerful and comforting name of Jesus, I pray before the throne of grace as I intercede for you and your family whose hearts are entangled in the grip of fear. I stand on the solid foundation of God's word, seeking refuge and promises that resonate with strength and assurance for you in the name of Jesus. I bring your family before the throne of God's grace, relying on the assurance from Isaiah 49 verse 10, which proclaims, do not be afraid for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Acknowledging the challenges and uncertainties your family encounters, may you firmly grasp the truth that God's presence is a powerful antidote to fear. May you and your family sense his nearness in moments of apprehension. May the Lord strengthen you and your family, echoing the sentiment of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7, confirming that the Lord has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. May the Lord shatter the chains of anxiety, seeking to entangle the thoughts and emotions of every family member. Make his power surge through your family, infuse and courage, love, and a clear, unwavering mind that stands firm against the waves of fear. As your family journeys through shadows, I proclaim the assurance of Psalm 23 verse 4, even though you pass through the darkest valley, you will fear no evil for the Lord is with you. His rod and his staff, they bring you comfort. And so may the Lord be the guide and presence in the life of every of your family member, dispelling fear with the assurance of his constant companionship. May the comfort and touch of his rod and staff ease all concerns for you and your family, leading you safely through trial. I anchor my supplication in the words of Psalm 27 verse 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? I declare this truth 
over you and your family members' life. That the Lord shall be your radiant light, dispelling the shadows of fear. He shall be your family's salvation, the ultimate rescue from the clutches of anxiety. He will remain an unshakable stronghold that renders fear powerless for your family in Jesus' name. I petition the throne of grace in agreement with you, earnestly seeking the release of your family from the chains of fear. Let the command of God's courage that comes from Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 resonate within your being, igniting the strength that can only come from God's presence. May the peace promised in Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7 descend upon your family, settling like a gentle dove, bringing tranquility to the turbulent waters of your family member's soul. And in the profound truth of Psalm 27 verse 1, may your family find confidence knowing that with God as their light and stronghold, fear has no place. I lift up this prayer with unwavering trust in God's ability, yes, to dispel fear and replace it with the courage that comes from knowing Him. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And so in the name of Jesus, I uplift the spirit of your family, declaring the directive to be strong and courageous as God's divine presence accompanies every step taken by you and your family. May the realization of God's unwavering companionship dispel the shadows of fear encroaching upon the souls of you and your family members. May all of you find comfort in the words of Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your requests to God. And the peace of God who transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And so in the name of Jesus, I place the anxieties of you and your family at his feet, wrapped in the cloak of prayer and gratitude as I intercede on your behalf. May the Lord envelope the hearts and minds of your family members with a surpassing peace, a peace that surpasses understanding and serves as an impenetrable guard against the onslaught of fear. In the powerful name of Jesus, our ultimate wellspring of strength, and I proclaim in the resounding verses of Psalm 27 that you and your family need not fear anything, for the one with you is greater. May the Lord be an unassailable fortress for your family, impervious to the anxieties attempting to encroach. May the resonance of this truth reverberate within your family, drowning the moments of fear with a steadfast declaration that no fear can prevail in God's presence. I dismiss the stronghold of fear and establish a secure foundation of faith amid uncertainty. I lay claim to the certainty of God's abiding presence I pray that your family walks in the assurance that with God as your stronghold, fear holds no sway. I pronounce a blessing of peace upon your family. May the truth of Psalm 27 verse 1 be engraved upon your heart. A constant reminder that in God's light, fear dissipates and in God's fortress, courage takes root. In the mighty and prevailing name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Miracles are supernatural occurrences that are beyond human comprehension. God often shows his children his mightiness by doing miraculous acts for them. In the time of old, God showed the children of Israel many miracles that made them believe that he is not the same God that their close neighbors served. As long as you are a child of God, you are to work in the miraculous. Though sometimes the powers of darkness try to hinder miracles from getting to us, you need not worry about these powers because they have been trampled upon by Jesus when he died on the cross and rose again on the third day. He now gave us the same authority he used to conquer all the powers of darkness and he is assuring us that they dare not harm us. The Bible emphatically said in the book of Matthew 16, 19, that we have been given the keys of the kingdom. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Use the authority that you have in the name of Jesus. I will be making these prayers and decrees over you 
align your faith with mine to get results. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of darkness that are impeding your miracles from getting to you are scattered. I decree that all of your miracles that have been delayed will come to you now in the name of Jesus. I decree that the miracle that would turn your life around for good will happen right now and the devil and his cohorts will not be able to hinder it from coming to you. I decree that your miracles that have been overdue but is being delayed by the powers of darkness are released from their grip. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will experience the miracle of the Lord in all areas of your life. I decree over you that you will be a candidate of the Lord's miracle this season in the name of Jesus. I send the powers of darkness into the hobbies that have Age your miracles by the power in the name of Jesus I decree that in the areas of your life that you need the touch of God you will experience a miracle in those areas I decree that you will experience miracles that will silence all your mockers in the name of Jesus the Word of God says that God will have mercy upon whom you will have mercy I decree that you and your family are candidates for the Lord's mercy in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the forces of darkness that have ganged up to frustrate you from experiencing your miracle are scattered in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not experience anything short of miracles. I decree that all the forces of darkness that have ganged up to frustrate you from experiencing your miracle are scattered in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not experience anything short of miracles, even in this season, in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not seek false miracles that will inhibit your progress in life. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not fall prey to the hands of false prophets who are masters of doing false miracles. I decree over you that you will not live the will of God for you in the pursuit of deceits of the wicked ones that are disguised as miracles. You will make accelerated progress in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you and all members of your family will walk in the miraculous in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will wrought miracles that will make people give their lives to Christ. And in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will experience a miracle that will leave all your enemies in a state of confusion. And I pray for you that you will not be led astray by the wicked ones into traps that are disguised as miracles in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that your marriage experience the miraculous this season. You will be living wonder to the world in the name of Jesus. I decree that the powers of darkness that are trying to hinder your destiny helpers from locating you are put into confusion in the name of Jesus. You will not seek in vain the miracles of the Lord. The Lord will always show you his miraculous side in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. You see, the Bible says in Psalm 75, verses 6 and 7, that promotion does not come from the east, west, and south, but God is the judge. It puts down one and exalts the other. You might have been looking for a promotion the wrong way by looking up to man. To promote you the help of man is vain as it might fail you only god has the ability and capacity to promote you without asking for something in return many men would promote you on a condition but god promotes you unconditionally unreservedly look up to god today for the promotion that you are desiring trust and depend on him totally and you will be surprised at the way he would come through for you by promoting you beyond human comprehension. The Word of God is right inside your mouth. The Word of God has a way of creating a promotion for you even if there is none for you. Use the Word of God to your advantage. I will be making these declarations, prayers and decrees over you. 
I need you to affirm them with faith as I pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the plans of the enemies over your life to hijack your promotion are put into null and void in the name of Jesus. By the power in that name, I decree that your promotion is sealed already and nothing impedes it. I decree that anyone that is holding on to your promotion right now, release it by force now in the name of Jesus. I decree that your promotion is settled and nothing and no one steals it. I decree that all your labors that are meant to bring you a promotion that is still being delayed will fetch you the desired promotion you want in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be above and not beneath in all areas of your life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that the Holy Spirit will give you that divine idea that will bring promotion and breakthrough to you in the name of Jesus. That you will not be the disadvantaged one. You will always be the one that is on the advantage side in the name of Jesus. I decree that anything that you are doing that is inhibiting your promotion stops this instant in the name of Jesus. By the power in that name, I decree over you that you will not labor in vain. I decree that you are the head and not the tail. I decree that just like the way Daniel was promoted above all his contemporaries in the whole kingdom of Babylon, that is the same way you will gain a promotion that would set you above people that have despised and mocked you in the past in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Proverbs 3.25 that the wise will inherit honor, but fools display dishonor. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be honored among many people, that you will not be ruled over by slaves because you are a royal priesthood. In the name of Jesus, I decree you will manifest the dominion mandate that God gave to you when he created you, that the law will make you rich in all ramifications. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be given the wisdom to lead many in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be proud after the Lord has promoted you. That you will keep on receiving a double portion of grace from the Lord as you humble yourself in the sight of the Lord in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not be careless to spend the resources that will be handed over to you after you are promoted. I decree that you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in the right season. I decree that the Lord will make you a great and a mighty nation and your name will be exceedingly great. You will also be a blessing unto generations. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will be seated with people that matter in the society. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you that your light will shine even in the midst of gross darkness in the name of Jesus. By the power in that name, I decree the Gentiles are coming to your light and kings will come to the brightness of your rising, that you will never be stagnated in any area of your life. In Jesus' name, I decree that you will be sufficient in all things. There is breakthrough and favor for you in your business or your job in the name of Jesus. I give you all the glory, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. As children of God, we must realize that there are spirits that are negative. Don't ignore them, but don't be afraid of them. There is a spirit that attacks the children of God when they are about to hit a milestone in their career, business or jobs. That spirit needs to be arrested because it is a very wicked one that doesn't easily give up. If you discover that on the verge of making a breakthrough, something bad happens that cuts short your joy, you should immediately seek the face of God and engage the power in the name of Jesus to triumph over these powers. 
The Bible says in Job 22, 28, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto you and light will shine upon your path. You have the authority to say anything using the name of Jesus and it will be done to you. These demons that hinder you from getting the desired results, you crave are under your feet because you have the power to trample upon them and they cannot do anything about it. These prayers I will be releasing over you will incapacitate these powers of darkness and don't be casual about them. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast powers that cause people and you particularly to fail at the edge of achieving success. I decree that the spirits that are at the junction of your breakthrough are rested by the hosts of heaven. I decree that the angel of the Lord would bind powers that are bent on making you frustrated as you make repeated efforts to hit the mark you have set for yourself. I decree that the forces of darkness that want to make you give up on the verge of your success and breakthrough bound in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I bind every demon that wants you to labor in vain and want your labor to go unrewarded. I shoot for the arrows of God to destroy powers that are bent on frustrating all of your input and efforts. I decree that you will no longer lag and you will not be stagnant again in all areas of your life. I pull you out of that obsession, suppression and oppression the devil and his cohorts have subjected you to. I decree that you and all the members of your family will achieve the goals that you have set for yourselves in the name of Jesus. I decree that the evil ones that have placed a siege on you destroyed and I decree that the siege they have placed on you lifted. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I nullify the evil mark of near success syndrome the enemies have placed on you. And I decree that you will gain the speed of the Holy Ghost that will help you to get results that will marvel you and the world at large. I pray and I declare that by the power and the name of Jesus that you are matched for success, breakthrough and progress by Jesus and his mark will be visible for the enemies to see. I decree that every chain that is holding you back from reaching your destination is broken, that you are moving forward. There is no longer backwardness for you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will break free from every form of limitation placed upon you. I pray that you are insulated with the anointing of the Holy Ghost and I decree that yokes are destroyed right now in your life in the name of Jesus. You are no longer behind. You are ahead. You will no longer remain on the spot. In all areas of your life, there will be visible progress for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the powers of darkness that are subtly monitoring your progress are exposed and destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are separated from progress and success. The devil and his cohorts will no longer impede your progress in the name of Jesus. I decree that the years that you have lost because you were always failing on the edge of success are restored to you in sevenfold in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not stay in the valley, that the wicked ones have kept you in. You will rise and stand on the mountaintop because you are the light of the earth. I break all barriers that have been obstructing you from making significant progress in all areas of your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Colossians 2.14 says that Jesus Christ has wiped out all the handwriting that was against us which was contrary to us, and he took them out of the way, having nailed them to the cross. All the handwritings of ordinances that are against you include generational curses and patterns that are working contrary to the will of God for you. The Bible also says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away, behold, all 
things have become new. You are a new man, a new woman in Christ. So all generational patterns hold no water in your life. The word of God is right within you and in your mouth. The Bible says in Matthew 18:18 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Lose yourself free today from strange patterns that want to manifest themselves in your life and in your families. I will be making this prayers and decrees over you. Join your faith with mine so as to claim your victory today. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are set free from all generational patterns that are working against the will of God for you. I decree that the blood of Jesus will make you untouchable from curses and demonic patterns. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will not visit the sins of your fathers upon you. The Bible says in Galatians 3.13 that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. He was made a curse for us because cursed is anyone that hangs upon the tree. I decree that all the demonic patterns that are running in your lineage are rendered useless by what Christ did on the cross for you in Jesus' name. I decree that instead of curses, you will enjoy the blessings of God in sevenfold. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that affliction should not rise up the second time in your life in Jesus' name. I decree that you will not suffer for the iniquities of your fathers. The keys of the kingdom of God are with me and it, it is in the name of Jesus that I decree that all the demonic patterns that want to hamper the will of God for you are nullified in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be afflicted by sickness and ailments due to strange patterns that are running in your light nature. I decree that the law of the spirit of life that is in Christ has set you free from the law of sin and death in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. I decree that all the weapons that were set up by the wicked ones against your lineage in times past that want to affect you now are destroyed in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will bless you and his blessings will cancel every curse and pardon in your life in the name of Jesus. Because you are in Christ, all things have passed away. All things have become new. I decree that the newness of life that is in Christ, that is at work in you, will nullify all the demonic patterns that are still alive in your family. In the name of Jesus, whoever the Son of Man has set free shall be free indeed. I decree that you are free indeed from the curses and patterns that are in your lineage. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be limited and stagnated by demonic patterns in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be held by God and the Lord will put a stop to oppression of any sort in your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord has redeemed you from destruction and also redeemed you from the pit of demonic generational patterns. I decree that the steadfast love of God which is from everlasting to everlasting will exempt you from demonic generational patterns that are in your lineage in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are walking in the newness of life that you have been given when Christ died and rose on the third day. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not experience wasted labor in all areas of your life due to generational patterns in your lineage. I decree that you will come out from the valley of curses and oppression to the mountain of freedom in the name of Jesus. I thank you Lord for answering our prayers. Glory to your name. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. One thing the devil wants you to do is to focus more on him by sending distractions to you. He hates it when God 
gets the glory in your life. So you plus to ensure that you shift focus from God. Anytime you talk more about things that are not edifying, you make the devil happy. And he is a master at distorting the glory that is supposed to go to God, to himself. You are instructed to submit to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do not focus on what the devil is doing. Focus on what God is doing per season and time with you. The Bible says in Mark 11, 24, that whatever you desire, when you pray, believe that you have received them and you shall have them. Do not doubt the efficacy of God's word. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you receive the grace of God to not get distracted by the devil's scheme. I pray for you that you receive the spirit to be resilient and not back out easily in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not focus on what the devil is doing around you. Rather, your focus will be on the will of God. I pray for you that you will know the will of God for you at every season and time. By the power of the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not lose sight of what God is doing to you and for you. There is freedom for you against all the scheme of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will walk in God's perfect will and not his permissive will. There is upward sensitivity for you in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be insensitive to the promptings and the leadings of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be confused as to knowing the will of God for you and your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not be deceived by the antics of the devil and his cohorts. I pray that you will not be frustrated by the devil's schemes and plots. You will ascend to the height of not being carried away by the schemes of the devil and his cohorts. I pray for you that you will be ahead of the devil and his schemes in the name of Jesus. There is victory for you against all the schemes of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be led astray by the schemes of the wicked ones. I decree that your gaze will always be on Jesus instead of the devil and his minions or doing around you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will receive the grace to submit to God and resist the devil's schemes in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be caught unaware by the devil and his agent's plots. I pray for you that you will be alive unto God and not unto the devil. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will stand firm in the will of God for you. That you will stand strong even in the face of persecution and trials in the name of Jesus. That you will not walk outside the path that God wants you to tread in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be deceived by the wrong association to leave the will of God for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. You will live to become what God wants you to become despite the trials, troubles and pains that the devil and his agents will send to you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be steadfast, immovable and always abounding unto the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that your hope will remain fixed on Jesus and not on anything that the devil is doing around you to make you lose focus. I decree that you will not lose sight of who you are in Christ in Jesus name the grace of the Lord will abound much more in your life in all ramifications of your life in Jesus name glory to God for the answer to all our prayers in Jesus name we have prayed Amen one strategy that the devil and his cohorts employ against God's children is to delay the plans of God from coming into fulfillment in their lives. The devil cannot stop the plans of God, but he devises ways in which he uses to frustrate the will of God in the lives of believers. I have a perfect news for you today. You will not be a candidate of the devil's delay because your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. 
You could also be the one delaying the will and plans of God from coming into fruition in your life. This could happen when you fail to align with God's will for you and when you do not surrender your ways totally to God. God is God of mercy. He has a way of putting you back on course and making you walk on the right path to your destiny fulfillment. As for those powers that have sworn to frustrate the will of God for you, we will be dealing with them today. The Bible says that we will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto us and light will shine upon our path. And the Bible also says in Philippians 2.10 that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. We will be using the name that we have been named with, but which is the name of Jesus to combat the forces of darkness that are bent on frustrating the will and purpose of God in your life. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of darkness that are delaying the plans of God from coming into fusion in your life are arrested and sent into the bottomless pit now. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the agenda of the evil ones to make you distracted and live the will of God for you abound. I decree that you will not be delayed by ancestral curses in the name of Jesus and every forces of darkness sworn to frustrate the will and purpose of God for you are destroyed now in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree a redirection for you if you have left the purpose of God for your life. And I also decree that you will never be slow in your destiny fulfillment. I speak forth supernatural speed for you in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says that you will be the head and not the tail. I decree so that the plans of the wicked ones to make you the tail are nullified in the name of Jesus. I decree that you would not be delayed in all areas of your life and I bind those powers that want to keep you on the spot in the mighty name of Jesus. You would not be deceived by the evil ones in leaving what God has ordained for you to chase things that God has not planned for you in the name of Jesus. I speak forth the word of God into your destiny and I decree that your destiny will arise and shine in the name of Jesus. I call forth all the God ordained destiny helpers who God has ordained to ease your work to your destiny fulfillment. I decree that they will find you and they will not be blinded by the wicked ones from recognizing you. I decree and declare that you will not be frustrated by these evil ones who are assigned to delay your destiny. As a devil cannot prevent the sun from shining and cannot dry up the oceans, your destiny, I declare right now, that will never be prevented from manifesting the glory of the Lord. I decree that your destiny that might have been slipping will awake and begin to show forth the beauty of the Lord. Right now I pray for all the members of your family. I decree that they will also fulfill their destinies and that there is no delay for them in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will experience increase in all areas of your life which will facilitate your destiny walk to be easy. I say that the will and purpose of God for your life will prevail over the enemy's own in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon your destiny. I decree that your destiny will not be tampered with in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. This we pray with thanksgiving, knowing that you've answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm 5.12 says that the Lord will bless the righteous with favor. God will surround him as with a shield. As God's child, you are entitled to be favored anywhere you find yourself. It is an aberration for you to beg to be favored. You're favored by the Lord. So your default mode is to be favored in all areas of life. 
The favor of the Lord makes a man stand out among his contemporaries. What others are struggling to get, you won't struggle to get because the favor of the Lord that is at work will break protocols for your sake. The Bible in Ecclesiastes 10 verses 5 to 7 said something profound about an evil that is prevalent in the society where princes walk while beggars ride on horses. That is a figurative statement that describes God's people not enjoying the privilege that they have of being joined heirs with the Prince of Peace and the King of the Universe. While unbelievers who are still alienated from the grace of the Lord Jesus are now the ones enjoying what rightly belongs to the children of God. The favor of God will exempt you from this error that is happening in our present day society. Anywhere you go, walk and talk with confidence, knowing that you are favored by the Lord. Do not allow anyone to ridicule you or ride you off. That promotion is yours. That contract is yours. That job is yours. Grab them now. As I will be making these prayers and declarations over you. Be conscious that you are favored and no power of darkness can obstruct that favor of the Lord from manifesting in your life. So let's pray. The word of God says in Mark 11, 24, that whatever you desire when you pray, believe that you have received them and you shall have them. Just believe and you will receive what you ask the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I come with thanksgiving to the Lord God Almighty for the privilege that we have in Him, that we can come boldly to his throne and decree a sing and it shall be established and therefore i decree that from today everyone that is hearing the sound of my voice that you are favored in all ramification that you show forth the favor of the lord to the world and in the name of jesus the favor of the lord that is at work in you will break protocols for your sake I decree that you will ride on horses and not walk as a beggar because the favor of the Lord is upon you. I declare that over you that what other people are struggling to get, you won't struggle to get because the favor of the Lord will make you get results without struggling hard. I decree that you are set aside for favor in the work of your hands. I decree that in those places that you were rejected in the past, you are accepted back because you are accepted in the beloved and the favor of the Lord is working inside of you. I say that all things are working for your good because you are loved by God in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the powers of darkness that are obstructing people from favoring you are scattered. You will work in favor all the days of your life. The favor of the Lord has canceled disgrace and shame in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the members of your family are also favored in anything that they do and anywhere they go. I decree that what looks like favor, but it isn't revealed to you by the Holy Spirit. You will not fall into the trap of the wicked ones that is carefully placed to look like favor in the name of Jesus. The favor of the Lord will make you get results faster than your contemporaries. I decree it now in the name of Jesus. I also say that the favor of the Lord will make a way for you in difficult situation. I pray for you that the favor of the Lord will allow you not to labor like an elephant, but eat like an ant. The favor of the Lord that is at work in you will exempt you and your family from strange patterns that are still alive in your lineage. While the enemy meant for evil, I decree that the favor of the Lord would turn it around for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power in that name, you will not be delayed and stagnated because the favor of the Lord will increase your pace and acceleration in your life. You are shielded by the favor of the Lord in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. The devil is highly organized and shrewd. He does not do things without first of all having a plan. He has a 
kingdom that he controls which has strata. The Bible says in Ephesians 6 12 that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places is the least in the organization of the kingdom of the devil and they include errant demons like witches and wizards and other foul spirits. You do not need to be scared of these powers because you are above them and they are under you. You are seated with Christ in heavenly places far above principalities and powers. The Bible says in Matthew 16, 19 that you have been given the keys of the kingdom of heaven to bind anything you want to bind and lose anything you want to lose. Use the authority that you have in the name of Jesus. As we will be engaging in prayers together against all the hosts of wickedness, I want you to hold and join your faith with mine even now. So let's pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, we come to you with thanksgiving, knowing that we have a name that is greater than every other name. Using the authority behind this name, I scatter all the hosts of wickedness that are gathered against this one listening to me. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the forces of wickedness that have devised to hurt them fall for their sake in the name of Jesus. I decree that the agenda of the wicked ones against them will not stand in the name of Jesus. And I decree that the secret plans of these wicked ones that were hatched in secret that are exposed even right now in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the forces of wickedness that are assigned to frustrate their efforts are bound and sent to the bottomless feet. I decree that the angel of the Lord will chase those forces of wickedness that are bent on fighting against them in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree that all the witches and wizards that are orchestrating evil against them fall for their sakes. The word of the Lord says in Exodus 14, 14, that the Lord will fight for you and you will hold your peace. And that I decree that the Lord will begin to war against the powers of darkness around about you in the name of Jesus. The power of the Lord will cripple the forces of wickedness against you even now. And in the name of Jesus, I rebuke all powers of darkness that want to subvert the will of God in your life. I decree that you will see the forces of wickedness flee before you in seven ways, even as they come in one way. And I decree that the hand of the Lord will be against the wicked ones in your life. The Word of God says in 2 Thessalonians 3, 3, The Lord is faithful and He will deliver you from the evil ones. On the authority of this word, I decree that the Lord would deliver you from all the evil ones. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will submit to God and you will resist the devil and he and all his cohorts will flee from you. The word of God in Psalm 7 verse 9 says that the wickedness of the evil ones will come to an end. This is what I decree even now that all the wickedness of the forces of darkness against your life have come to an end this very second in the name of Jesus. I decree that the crown of the wicked ones will come down from their heads for your sake in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 3 11 says war to the wicked it will go badly with him and what he deserves will be done to him I decree that the Lord will make all the wicked ones that are fighting against your progress and breakthrough to get their reward from the Lord in the name of Jesus I decree that the hosts of wickedness that are assigned to bring you shame and disgrace and make you live a lowly and an unfulfilling life are put in in their place even now. I decree that the host of wickedness that are pursuing you relentlessly 
drown in the Red Sea, that the wicked ones will begin to eat their flesh and drink their blood in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will continue to trample upon the host of wickedness and they will not hurt you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. There are certain altars erected by the evil ones against you in order to send evil things that are contrary to the will of God for you. These altars can be dismantled by you because you have the authority to do that and the forces of darkness dare not hurt you. The altars that are set up against you are no bigger and stronger than the name of Jesus that is in your possession. The word of God says in Philippians 2.10, At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Appropriate the name of Jesus today in pulling down all the strongholds of the enemies. Job 22, 28 says, You will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto you. A light will shine upon your part. We will come against these altars by faith and with boldness. So let us pray in faith. In the name of Jesus, I pull down all demonic altars erected over you and your family. And I pray for you that all illegitimate altars that are projecting failure and delay in your life are scattered in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah 1.10 says, See, I have set you this day over nations and over kingdoms to pluck up and break down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. By the power in the name of Jesus, I begin to break into pieces all the evil altars erected over you and your family. I destroy all their devices and I uproot all the evil things that are contrary to the will of God that have been laid upon those altars against you in Jesus' name. There is no other foundation laid other than that which was laid by the Lord Jesus. And so I decree that any other foundation other than that which is laid by the Lord Jesus in your life and families are dismantled in Jesus' name. I decree that the fire of the Lord will fall and roast all evil priests that are legislating over evil altars the enemies are using to project evil into your life. The Bible says in Matthew 15, 13, every plant that my father has not planted will be rooted out. I therefore begin to uproot all evil plantations in your life. I send the angel of the Lord to break into pieces all the altars of wickedness set up over you and your family. And I release any member of your family that is under the bondage of evil altars. I decree that the Lord would fight against all the wicked ones that are in charge of evil orders against your life and you will hold your peace. Anything that has been stolen from you by the priests of evil orders are released and I command the release right now in Jesus name. The word of God says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Right now, I pray for you that you are energized to pull down and dismantle all the altars of the wicked ones, even in your life and your families. You are strengthened and your strength will not fail you in warring against oppression of the wicked ones against your family. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will stay at the altar of the Lord God instead of being held captive by the altar of wickedness. We are God's battle axe, that's what the scripture says, and his weapon of war. We therefore begin to dismantle the altars of the wicked ones. As the Bible says in Leviticus 26 verse 30, I then will destroy your high places and cut down your incense altars and heap on the remains of your idols for my soul shall abhor you. This is the word of the Lord against the wicked ones and their altars and it will stand whether they like it or not. The altar of the evil ones will be exposed even if it is subtle in operation in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord destroys all altars and idols that are subtle in operation in your life and families. 
who will wait patiently on the altar of the Lord and not the altar of the wicked ones in Jesus' name. I decree an end to every form of demonic manipulations that stem from activities of evil priests that are legislating over evil altars against you and your family. The name of the Lord Jesus will be exalted above all altars, even in your life now and forevermore in Jesus' name. I pray for you that you will not unconsciously serve as the altar of darkness anymore in Jesus' name. We we'll bless you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. Glory to your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Son of God has given you the keys of the kingdom to wage war against the powers of darkness who are gathered against you. You have the authority to say a thing on earth and it will be established to you because life and death is in the power of your tongue. The forces of darkness that want to fight against you to alter the will of God for you are destroyed and sent to exile by you using the name of Jesus and the Word of God. The Word of God says in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that no weapon formed or fashioned against you shall prosper and any tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. Now the word of God is in your mouth and it has the capacity to fight for you. The word of God is capable of saving you from the destruction of the wicked ones. So let us pray together in faith. Psalm 35 verse 1 says that the Lord will plead your cause with them that strive with you. And by the reason of the word of God, I decree that the Lord would fight against all the occultic powers that are warring against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the fire of the Lord would consume all the altars of the wicked ones aimed at projecting evil into your life. And I destroy all the altars of the occultic kingdom standing in your way to greatness in the name of Jesus. The Lord will set you free from the power of darkness in Jesus' name. As the word of God says in Psalm 91 verse 1, that he who dwells in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I pray for you that you will always abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And as you do this, you will be protected from the hold of the occultic kingdom in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the things that were stolen from you by the powers of darkness will be restored to you in sevenfold in the name of Jesus. The Lord will dry up all the power source of the wicked ones which they are using to afflict you in the name of Jesus. Exodus 14, 14 says that the Lord would fight for you and you will hold your peace and by the power in the name of Jesus I pray that the Lord would fight on behalf of you against all the powers of darkness that are seeking your hurt. You would no longer be enslaved by the occultic kingdom who are bent on frustrating your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the evil seeds of the enemies that was planted in you are uprooted and destroyed in the name of Jesus. Job 5.12 says that God destroys the craftiness of the wicked so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. I decree that the Lord will turn around the plan of the wickedness to make it foolishness and he will turn around their plan for your good in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the satanic priests that say you would not fulfill your purpose are destroyed by the fire of the Lord in the name of Jesus. And in that name, I decree that the fire of the Lord will consume all the devices of the wicked ones that are using to afflict and oppress you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the evil ones that came against you in one way, they flee before you in seven ways. The Lord was set on fire the altar of your life and family in the name of Jesus. You and all the members of your family are untouchable to the occultic powers in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, according to the word of God in Deuteronomy 28 verse 7, the Lord will cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. 
They shall come against you in one way and flee before you in seven ways. I decree that the Lord will cause all your enemies to be defeated before you. And as they come against you in one way, they will flee before you in seven ways. In the mighty name of Jesus. I shoot the arrows of God to discomfit the powers of darkness that are fighting against you. And I send forth the lightning of the Holy Ghost to scatter all the occultic powers that are warring against you. I engage the ministry of angels to begin to wage war against the powers of the enemies that have devised your hurt and downfall in the name of Jesus. You will put on all the occultic powers softly operating your life to flight and they will never come back to harass you by the power in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy 3.22 says that you should not fear them. The occultic powers for the Lord your God is the one fighting for you and by the reason of the word of God I pray for you that you will not be afraid of the occultic powers as the Lord will go ahead of you to fight against the evil one seeking to afflict and oppress you in the name of Jesus I pray for you again that you have the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt you in Jesus name. We thank you Lord for answering all our prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. As a child of God, you have the power to come against everything the devil brings against you. You must resist the enemy, as the book of James says, because his plan and main job is to steal, kill and destroy. But Jesus came to give you life and life more abundantly. Now rise with me as we decree by the power in the name of Jesus that as from this moment nothing spoken against you shall prosper. Let's pray. Father, it is in the name of Jesus that I come to you as a blood washed and redeemed child to take authority over every weapon that is formed against anyone under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus, every tongue that has risen against them is condemned. It is written, who is it that speaks and it comes to pass when God has not spoken, therefore I say every evil projection made against anyone here is cut off. It is written no enchantment against the house of Jacob, nor divination against it shall stand. I therefore decree and declare that every enchanter or every diviner that has worked against anyone under the sound of my voice, today your powers are broken and I decree that diviners are made mad for your sake They will no longer perform their enterprises. Every crystal ball or basing or antenna set to monitor your progress than that of your children's are destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come to you today to ask for your protection henceforward against every evil projections that may be directed towards these ones. We believe in your power to shield them from the harm and to keep them safe from every negative energies. I ask that you surround them with your divine light and love and that you shield them from any harmful intentions that may come their ways in the mighty name of Jesus. We totally trust in your ability to keep safe and to guide them through any challenges that may arise because Lord Jesus you said as many as I called by your name to them you've given the power to become the sons of God and so Lord God you have put them in the whole of your hands therefore they will no longer be affected by any imagination or stray bullet that the enemy has already released against them we ask you, Lord, to help them remain grounded and centered in your love and to stay focused on the positive things in their life. Father, those that the enemy has released fear, projections of fear against them, it is written, the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of a power and of a sound mind. Today I declare that fear you lose your grip over anyone in the name of Jesus. 
We decree that God's grace and blessings remain upon you and you will always walk in His light. Thank you for your love and protection and for your constant presence in everyone's life. Even now in the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. When God remembers you, your story will change overnight and people will begin to wonder how you did it and how it happened. God remembered Jacob and in a few months he recovered all the wages his uncle Laban withheld from him. God also remembered Sarah and opened her womb and she bore Isaac, the covenant child. Do not think that the Lord has forgotten you. He can never be a man that has a short memory and neither does he lie. I don't know that area of your life where you need the Lord's remembrance. I bring you good news. The good news is that the set time for your remembrance is here and it is now. The Word of God says that He will turn your captivity around and you will be like those who dream. Are you ready for the Lord's remembrance today? If you are, join me as we pray together in faith. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for always remembering us for good at all times. We give you the praise, Lord, for looking down at us with your mercy. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, your word says in Psalm 136 verses 23, God remembered us when we are down. His love never fails by the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you and all members of your family that the Lord will remember you all for good and His love would never fail in your life. I pray for you that all those people the Lord has ordained to help you and have forgotten about you. I pray that the Lord will stir their hearts and cause them to remember you for good in the name of Jesus. I release the angel of the Lord that will bring good news to you. I decree that they will begin to work for you in all areas of your life in Jesus' name. And I pray that the good work that God has started in your life will be completed even until the day of Christ. I decree over you that the Lord would arise in His mercy and restore to you the things that the enemies stole from you in Jesus' name. And in that great name I decree over you that men would no longer forget the good things that you have done. All your good deeds are rewarded even now in the name of Jesus. I stand on the word of God and I decree that you would not die without being remembered for good. I put all the right mechanisms in place and I pray that from today all things begin to work for you for your good in your life in Jesus name. You are no longer relegated to point zero as the Lord will remember you for good and cause your efforts to yield tangible results in Jesus' name. In any place you have been rejected and denied access, I pray that you will be accepted because the Lord has taken pleasure in you and he has remembered you for good in Jesus' mighty name. I scatter all the wicked ones that are going around to sow the seeds of forgetfulness in the hearts of your helpers in the mighty name of Jesus. I begin to release a double measure of mercy and goodness over your life. And these will help you to be remembered by kings and influential people in the society. I pray that those that are owing you and have refused to pay you, the dividend of your labor are troubled and they will begin to give to you what is rightfully yours in Jesus' name. There is no more death for you in your finance as the Lord is remembering you for good and he will cause an overflow of your resources for you and your family. The Lord will touch you with his mighty hands and cause a mighty turn around in your life to the point that nations will envy you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the prayer that you are still expecting answers to are answered as the Lord has remembered you for good. You will not be stranded in all areas of your life. The Lord will always come through for you when you desperately need help in Jesus' name. You are favored, blessed, 
promoted and glorified in the name of Jesus. And I release the angels of goodness, mercy and favor to begin to work for you. The will of the Lord will be perfected in all facets of your life. In Jesus name, I have prayed. The Bible says that we should suffer not a wish to live. The beautiful thing is that we have the authority in the name of Jesus to trample upon all the powers of darkness and nothing shall by any means hurt us. The witches that might be operating subtly in your family and your neighborhood against you can be eradicated. Get up and walk in the victory you have in Christ. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, we will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto us. A light will shine on your path. Harness the name of Jesus and the power that is embedded in your tongue to conquer the forces of darkness that are gathered around you. I implore you to join your faith with mine as I make these decrees over you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all witches that are subtly operating in your family and your life are destroyed. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree the mack of witchcraft that is at work in your life and family is blotted out. And in the name of Jesus, I decree that in any way you have invited the activities of witchcraft into your life unknowingly, you come out of them this instant. I decree that no member of your family will be a tool to be used by witches and wizards in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I purge everything that is of the devil in your system. I decree that you will be ahead of the forces of darkness that are chasing you unrelentedly. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will wrap you in his love against all the powers of darkness that are gathered around you and against you. I pray that the mark of failure that is upon you or any member of your family is erased right now in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be an object of mockery to witches. The word of God says in Matthew 18, 18, whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever I lose on earth will be loose in heaven in the name of Jesus I bind all the associations of witches and wizards that are attacking you and your family in the name of Jesus I cancel every negative word that was said in the past and the present to you by the forces of darkness I destroy all the types of machinery of the wicked one that they are using to fight against you in the name of Jesus I nullify all the agenda of witches and wizards in your immediate environment that do not want you to eat the good of the land I pull you out of every pit the powers of darkness have kept you in the name of Jesus and I decree that you will hide under the sacred place of the highest and you will not stray out of his shadow in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be untouchable for the evil ones because you carry upon you the mark of Christ. I cancel every curse that was activated by the powers of darkness against your life and families in the name of Jesus. I decree that you hide under the pavilion of the highest and you are safe from the attacks of witches and wizards in the name of Jesus. I erase the mark of failure, poverty and disappointment upon your life. By what Jesus did on the cross, which was blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that were against you, he put them out of the way and nailed them to the cross. I decree that irrespective of the kinds of marks that are upon you, they are erased and blotted out completely now by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the fire of the Holy Ghost burns completely all the things that are contrary to the will of God for you. I decree that the witches and wizards you saw yesterday, you shall see them no more. I pray for you that God is enthroned in your family and the powers of darkness that are operating subtly in your life and your family are dethroned. The 
enemy is highly organized and operates through the activities of witches, wizards, and sorcerers. Witches and wizards are wicked and won't relent until they see your downfall. I've got news for you though. You are stronger than they are because you have been given the authority to trample upon them and they never hurt you. Have this confidence knowing that you are more than a conqueror. The witches that might be in your neighborhood and your vicinity have no legal right to hurt you because you have been explicitly marked by God. The word of God says in Job 22, 28, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto you and light will shine upon your ways. You are powerful because the word of God is in your mouth and you have been given a name that at the mention of it, every knee must bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. As I will be making these decrees and prayers over you, Affirm them with faith, believing that all of your expectations will be met. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the associations of witches and wizards fall for your sake this instant in Jesus' name. I decree that the plans of all witches and wizards around you are frustrated. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will trample upon the powers of witchcraft that are fighting against your family and career. And in the name of Jesus, I decree that your progress will not be impeded by the powers of witchcraft. I decree that you will not be disgraced and embarrassed by witches and wizards that have devised your hurt in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you mount up with wings as eagles far above oppression of witches, wizards, and sorcerers. You will enjoy flawless victories against the powers of witchcraft guarded against you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the name of the Lord is exalted above the name of witchcraft in your life and your families. The word of God says in Psalm 35 verse 1 that God would fight against those that fight against you. I decree that the Lord would fight against the wicked ones masquerading as witches and wizards troubling you and your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that you and the members of your family would not fall into the traps. I decree that the machine of witchcraft that they are using to monitor your progress is destroyed in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Exodus 14, 14, that God will fight for you and you will hold your peace. I decree that the Lord will fight against the witches and wizards that are ganked up against you in the mighty name of Jesus. Second Thessalonians 1, 6 says that it is a righteous thing with God to repay with tribulation those who trouble you. I therefore decree in the name of Jesus that the Lord would trouble the witches and wizards that are troubling you now. The Bible says in Psalm 37 10, for yet a little while and the wicked shall be no more. Indeed, you will look carefully for his place, but it shall be no more. I decree that the witches and wizards that are troubling you and your family will be seen no more by you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Psalm 18 45 says that the foreigners will fade away and come frightened from their hideouts. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of witchcraft that are softly operating in your life and families fade away and they are exposed in the name of Jesus. I decree that all evil strangers will obey you as soon as they hear of you and they will submit to you. I decree that the Lord is avenging for you in all of the areas all your enemies in the name of Jesus by the power in the name of Jesus I decree that all the things that the wicked ones stole from you be returned to you in sevenfold I decree that the powers of darkness that are frustrating all of your efforts are scattered and by the power in the blood of Jesus I decree that the blood will exempt you from the powers of witchcraft in the name of Jesus you will know the plans of the wicked ones even before they put them into motion in the name of Jesus. The oil of gladness will make you above the attacks of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I decree 
that the anointing of God that you carry will destroy all the yokes of limitation and stagnation the witches and wizards have placed upon you in the name of Jesus. No spell of witches and wizards is supposed to affect you because you are immune to their spells. As much as they will try to hypnotize you with their spells, they cannot work against you because as a child of God, your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. The Bible also tells us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and no divination against us shall stand. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. We'll be using this to win against the witches that have been sent to cast spell in you. Make this your confidence as we will be praying together in faith. Let's pray. I decree in the name of Jesus that all the spells of the witches against your life and your family will not stand. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and all the members of your family are immune to the spell and divinations of the power of witchcraft. Micah 3, 7 says that those who practice witchcraft will be disgraced. And I pray that all the witches in your family are disgraced right now in the name of Jesus. Micah 5, verse 12 B says that God will put an end to all witchcraft. I therefore stand upon the word of God and I end the activities of witches in your life and your families in the name of Jesus. I decree that you would not be destroyed by the attacks of the witches in your neighborhood in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the plans of witches, wizards and sorcerers are nullified. I pray that you will not lose any of your loved ones to the spell and attacks of the forces of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you will not be disgraced and frustrated by the spells of the witches and wizards around. And by the name of Jesus and in his power, I decree that you and your family will not be casualties to the attack of the forces of witchcraft you will not experience a wasted labor by the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus the Word of God says that your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty in the name of Jesus I decree that the fire of the Lord will roast all the witches and wizards that are causing you problems and headache I pray a curse on all the witches because it is written suffer not a witch to live I decree that any witch or wizard that is troubling you today is cursed. I decree that you will not be disturbed again because you bear upon yourself the mark of Christ in the name of Jesus. You are above the limitations that are placed upon you and your family by the powers of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I release the wrath of God against the wicked ones that are causing you sorrow. And in the name of the Lord, I declare that that name is exalted in your life and family family against the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in Jesus name in Jesus name you will not become an entity in life due to the plots of the wicked ones and I declare by the power in the blood of Jesus that the blood will exempt you from the attacks of the forces of darkness I decree that all foundational problems that have besieged your life and family due to pronouncements of the powers of darkness against your family are repaired in the name of Jesus. You will not be caught unawares by the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. You and all members of your family will not become a prey to the spell of the wicked ones. I send forth the angels of the Lord to go forth and begin to fight for you and your family against the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord will serenade you and your family amidst the plots and schemes of the wicked ones in Jesus name and I decree that any strange ailment that the enemies might have afflicted any member of your family with disappears now in Jesus name. 
Your life will not be cut short by the forces of witchcraft. You will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be a tool of the forces of witchcraft. You will not live a messy and a mediocre life due to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft in Jesus' name. And I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the mighty one. You will keep on being covered under his mighty and able wings in Jesus' name. You are a seed of Abraham and because of this you should be immune to satanic spells that are pronounced against you to cause hindrance and delay in your life. The scripture says that no enchantment against Jacob shall stand. Therefore, no spell of the witches and wizards is supposed to affect you because you are immune to their spells. As much as they will try to hypnotize you with their spells, they cannot work against you because your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. The Bible also tells us that no weapon formed against you should prosper and no divination against you should stand. Only God has the final say in your life and not demonic spells or enchantments. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be loose in heaven. We will be using this to win against the witches that have been sent to cast spell on you. Make this your confidence and you will be praying together in faith. I decree in the name of Jesus upon the life of anyone listening to me right now, that all the spells of the witches against your life and your family will not stand. By the power in the name of Jesus, I rebuke and lose you and your family from every form of curses, charms, fetishes, jinx, all psychic powers, sorcery, bewitchment, enchantment, witchcraft, love potion, and psychic spells that have been put upon you and your family. I decree that the blood of Jesus breaks and sets you free from every negative covenant you have unknowingly entered into. I stand on the integrity of God's word and I say that all bandages that have been placed upon you and your family due to satanic spells are destroyed in the name of Jesus. You and all the members of your family are immune to the spells of the forces of darkness and the fire of the Lord will roast all the priests of darkness that have connived together to cast spells upon you and your family in Jesus' name. There is safety and security for you and your family against satanic spells in Jesus' name. The Son of God has set you free, therefore you are free indeed. I pray right now that you are set free from all forms of demonic spells and enchantments that have limited your progress all in the past in the name of Jesus. I break all the yokes of bondages that have caused stagnation in your family and have prevented you from having a major breakthrough. By the power that's in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and all the members of your family are immune to any spell and divinations of the power of witchcraft. Micah 3, 7 says that those who practice witchcraft will be disgraced. I pray that all the witches in your family are disgraced right now in Jesus name. Micah 5 verse 12b also says that God will put an end to all witchcraft. I therefore stand upon the word of God and I end at the activities of witches in your life and in your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be destroyed by the attacks of these witches in your neighborhood in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the plans of witches, wizards and sorcerers to place satanic spells and enchantment on you are nullified right now in Jesus name. And I pray you would not lose any of your loved ones to the spell and attacks of these forces of darkness in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would not be disgraced and frustrated in any way by the spells of witches and wizards to cause setbacks in your family. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you and your family will not be casualties to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft. You will not experience a wasted labor by the spells of the forces of darkness. The word of God says that your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. And because of that, I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty. 
in the name of Jesus I decree that the fire of the Lord will roast all the witches and wizards that are causing you problems and heartaches I place a curse on all the witches and wizards that are troubling you in the name of Jesus I decree that you will not be disturbed again because you bear upon yourself the mark of Jesus Christ you're above the limitations that are placed upon you and your family in the name of Jesus I release the wrath of God that will be kindled against the wicked ones that are causing you sorrow I decree and declare that the name of the Lord will be exalted in your life and your family against any attack and forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus you will not become an entity in life due to the plus of the wicked ones by the power and the blood of Jesus, I pray that the blood of Jesus will exempt you from the attacks of the forces of darkness. I decree that all foundational problems that have besieged your life and family due to pronouncements of the powers of darkness against your family are repaired. You will not be caught unaware by the forces of darkness. You and all members of your family will not become a prey to the spell of the wicked ones. I send forth the angel of the Lord to go forth and begin to fight for you and your family against the forces of witchcraft in the name of Jesus. The peace of the Lord will serenade you and your family amidst the plus. I decree the strange ailments that the enemies might have afflicted on any member of your family disappears even now. Your life will not be cut short by the forces of witchcraft. You will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. And by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you will not be a tool of the forces of witchcraft. You will not live a messy and mediocre life to the attacks of the forces of witchcraft. I decree that you will keep on hiding under the shadow of the Almighty and you will keep on being covered under his mighty and able wings in Jesus name the very first thing I want you to know is that God is for you and no one can be against you you are beyond being contended with by anyone the powers of darkness dare not contend with you because you carry the mark of Christ if God is for you who possibly can stand against you even if the world is against you, God cannot be against you because you are his prized possession. Know this and have assurance and confidence. The Bible urges us in Luke 10, 19 to take authority in his name and trample against all powers of darkness that are contending with us. The Bible also says in Psalm 35, 1b, that God will fight against those that fight against you. The decision now lies with you. Do you want the Lord to fight against those that contend with you? Or do you want the Lord to pardon them? Now is the time to believe in these prayers I will say over you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord would fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I pray for you that the enemies who want to cause your downfall will be dumbfounded in the name of Jesus. I pray that the enemies will fall into the pits they have dug for you. I pray that the Lord would take hold of his shield and buckler and stand up for your help in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the enemies who have devised your hurt will be confounded. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the angel of the Lord chases those that are in constant contention with you. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 20 verse 4 that God will go before you to fight for you against all your enemies to give you victory. I pray that throughout this year, God will fight all your enemies and will always make you victorious. I pray for you that you will not be against yourself. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the associations of witches and wizards to bring you shame are destroyed. I pray for you that all your enemies will begin to eat their own flesh and drink their own blood. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that you are untouchable for the enemies. The Lord will keep on showing up for you against your enemies. The word of the Lord will always be your weapon of defense and all offense against the enemies. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the enemies will never frustrate 
God's promises for you. You hide under the tabernacle of the highest. You find safety and solace in his name, in the name of Jesus. The love of God makes you perfect and secure. I decree that all your days will be filled with glad tidings. You will always sing songs of victory and joy in the name of Jesus. I pray that the resurrection power of God is at work in you much more. Therefore, all that the enemies have stolen from you will be restored to you in sevenfold. I decree that the name of the Lord will exempt you from the tragedies the enemies orchestrate daily. Christ has redeemed you from the curse of the law. He has been made a curse for you because curse is anyone that hangs on a tree. I pray for you that all generational curses that are alive in your lineage will never work against you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you are engulfed in the love grace and mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus and I decree that the ways of the wicked ones are slippery and their labor will be in futility against you. I decree that your faith in Jesus always coming to help you will never fizzle out in the name of Jesus. The veil has been turned. Therefore, I decree that you access the presence of God with confidence and no power of darkness will stand against you. I decree that as you journey in life, all obstacles on your path of fulfilling God-given purpose will become stepping stones for you to walk on, which will ease your journey to fulfill your purpose. You are above the attacks of the enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, the good thoughts the Lord has for you will never be contended against by the wicked ones. The tongue is the smallest member of the body, yet it is still the most powerful. The Bible said in Proverbs 18, 21, that life and death are in the power of the tongue. That is the famous reason you must be watchful on how you speak negative words to yourself. And you must not permit anyone to speak negative words to you. In the spirit realm, there is nothing like I said so and so by mistake. Angels and demons are activated by the words of the mouth. You are to take authority in the name of Jesus by nullifying negative words you might have said to yourself and the ones the evil ones pronounced against you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be lose in heaven. Now is the time to use that authority you have in the name of Jesus by joining your faith with mine to nullify all negative words the enemies have said to you that are producing negative results in your life. I decree over you that all the negative words that you might have made unknowingly to yourself are nullified in Jesus' name. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the enchantments of the evil ones made against you shall not stand in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all curses that are working contrary to God's will for your life are nullified. I also decree that all negative words said to you that are making you not walk in your God-ordained destiny are cancelled. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I wash away all the wrong words people have said to you that have lowered your self-esteem in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will never lose your position by the wrong counsel of the enemies. In the name of Jesus, you will never leave the will of God for your life due to wrong counsel from people who do not mean well for you. The Bible says in Psalm 140 verse 8, The Lord will not grant the desires of the wicked and he will not promote their evil devices so that they will not be exalted. I decree over you that all the evil words the wicked ones have spoken against you will not stand because the Lord will not permit it. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be made useless in life by the enemy's evil pronouncements against you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the negative words people have said to you in the past that have kept you in a circle 
are renewed. In the name of Jesus, walk in the will of God for your life. I decree that only God's counsel for you will stand. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not enter wrong agreements with people unknowingly through the words of your mouth. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you would never become an object of ridicule to the enemies. I pray for you that divination and incantation made against you shall not stand because you are a seed of Abraham. In the name of Jesus, I pray that anyone given wrong advice to your destiny helpers is rendered foolish. The word of God says in Michael 2, 1, Woe to him who scheme iniquity and work out evil on their beds. When morning comes, they do it, for it is in the power of their hands. I decree that all the evil counsels of the evil ones made against you and your family is put to null and void in the name of Jesus. Just like the evil pronouncements made by Haman to the children of Israel backfired on him, I decree that all the evil pronouncements made by the evil ones will backfire on them and their negative pronouncements will work in your favor. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be paralyzed by the negative pronouncements of the powers of darkness against you. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I wash away all the negative words people have said to you in the past that is impeding your progress in life. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I pray for you that the Holy Spirit helps you to tame your tongue. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will not expose yourself to the wicked ones via your words. One of the worst things that can happen to any man is when he doesn't have a bearing on his life. The devil loves it when people roam about aimlessly like a vagabond. His ultimate goal is to see that God's plan for man does not manifest. You're exempted from this. You can never be distracted because you have the Holy Spirit in you who will always lead, direct and comfort you. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Maximize the authority you have in Christ and put the devil and his minions in their place. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will never be distracted by the evil ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all evil friends disguised to be good ones sent by the devil to make you distracted are put to shame. I decree by the power in the name of Jesus that you will always do the right thing and at the right time. I also decree over you that you would not waste your time doing things that the Lord didn't send you in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the plans of the evil ones to make you confused as touching steps and decisions you should take are put to null and void. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would not leave the will of God for you. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I shield you from the attacks of the devil to make you useless in life. The word of God says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 that there is a time for a purpose under the heaven. I decree over you that you will walk in God's timing for you and the plans of the devil and his agents to make you stray from his timing is an order in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not make a costly mistake that will affect your destiny. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not miss the mark God has set for you due to your selfish ambition. I pray for you that you are safe and secured in the secret place of the highest from the prying eyes of the evil ones who want you to be destitute and a nuisance. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all members of your family will not be distracted in their journey to the fulfillment of their destinies. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the enemies who want you to make a costly mistake that will affect your business are put to shame in the name of Jesus.
The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. I pray for you that the name of Jesus will always shield you from distracting people. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that you will always know the right people to mingle with. That will help you not to be distracted. I pray for you that the word of God would always keep you in check anytime you are straying from God's will for your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all Ahitophel like friends in your life leave you this instant. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not give attention to the forces of darkness whispering into your ears to leave the original plan of God for your life. In the name of Jesus, I decree that God will always avenge you of all your adversaries who want to distress you. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. I therefore decree over you that all tongues that have sent projections at you to make you lose focus of who you are and where you're going are condemned in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that whether the devil and his cohorts like it or not, you will fulfill your God-given destiny. I decree that the calling and the mandate of God upon your life will be evident for all to see. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Holy Spirit would always keep you in check and your sight is keen like never before. I decree over you that you will not burn out doing things that you are not supposed to do. In the name of Jesus. There is no weapon formed against you that shall prosper. No matter how the enemies come against you, you have this confidence that they will flee before you in seven ways. The greatest weapon at your disposal is discomfiting the devil and his cohorts in the name of Jesus. Do not be doubtful when you call upon the name of Jesus because the Bible says in Romans 10, 13, that anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. When you know this, you will stand firm in the victory that you have in Christ Jesus. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, that you shall decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you. A light will shine upon your parts. This is the right time to maximize the authority that you have been given when you became a new man in Christ. As I will be making these declarations over your life, Affirm in faith, knowing that you have victory over all the devil's devices. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the weapons of the enemies targeted at you are rendered non-effective. I decree that you are shielded in the hollow of God's hand and you are saved from the attacks of the evil ones. In the name of Jesus, your life is hidden in Christ and Christ in God. I decree that no bullets of the enemy would get to you because your life is hidden in Christ. I decree that all the types of missionaries of the evil ones used to send projections at you are destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you dwell in the sacred place of the highest and you abide under the shadow of the Almighty. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I decree that confusion is sent to the camp of the enemies who have devised your hurt in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that a thousand will fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near thee. I decree that even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil for God is with you. His rod and his staff comfort you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the love of God will keep you safe and secured from the devices of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the bullet of fear is shot at you to demoralize you and make you confused and life misses you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the arsenal of evil ones is set ablaze by the Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, that the Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. I decree that you will no longer lose any battle because the God of vengeance will fight all your battles for you in the name of Jesus.
I pray for you that you will not be messed up by the weapons of the enemies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the bullets fired at any of your loved ones will not hit the mark. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is saved. I decree that the name of Jesus would always be your hiding place against all the attacks of the wicked ones. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you would never be bruised and injured by the weapons of the enemies. The Bible says in Psalm 41 verse 2 that the Lord will protect you and keep you alive. You shall be blessed and he will not hand you over to the desire of the enemies. I decree over you that the Lord will protect you for the rest of your life and he will never hand you over to the desire of your enemies in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that the Lord will keep you from the hand of wicked one and he will also preserve you from violent men who have proposed in their hearts to cause you to fall. I decree over you that the Lord will preserve your soul. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will pull you out of the net which they have laid for you and the Lord would always be your strength. I decree that the Lord will bring you out from among your enemies. He will lift you up above those who rise against you and he will also rescue you from the violent men. I decree that the Lord would hide you from the secret counsel of evildoers and from the turmoil of those who do iniquity. I pray for you that you will not be turned by the teeth of the wicked ones in the name of Jesus. As believers, we are positioned to flourish and experience breakthrough in all areas of our life because Jesus became poor so that we will be rich. He paid the price for our breakthrough completely on the cross. The only thing left now is for you to walk in the breakthrough from struggles he has made available for you. Remember that a new man or woman in Christ does not have to toil and sweat hard before he or she succeeds. The toiling and sweating hard died with your old man. Tell yourself this. I am positioned for a breakthrough. I never labor hard and get little results. I flourish like the tree planted by the riverside. As we will be making these prayers together, do it in faith knowing that you will get an answer to all of them. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not labor hard in vain and then another man eat of it. I decree over you the struggles have ended in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that there is no wasted effort for you. I decree that you will experience the breakthrough of the Lord in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all your efforts will never fall to the ground. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the resurrection power rests on everything dead in your life. I decree that all your dreams, visions and goals receive the breath of God and they come to life in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will overcome all obstacles on your path to greatness. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the spirit of the Midianites, the steel, Harvest is bound and cast into the havens. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you'll be a tree planted by the riverside whose leaves are evergreen and produces its fruit in due season. I decree that you will not be impatient and miss your day of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of darkness that are withstanding your breakthrough financially are scattered in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that you will be 
head and not the tail. I decree that you are the head in all facets of life. You are never behind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be behind shadow and ahead of your time. You will walk in God's perfect timing for you. I decree that all the resources that are needed for your breakthrough to manifest are provided now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your God-ordained helper heart is trouble until he helps you just like the way the heart of Azarus was troubled in the case of Mordecai and he caused a change in Mordecai's story. I decree that you will not beg for men to help you. You will attract the favor of men to your side because you are shielded with favor in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the members of your family will walk in breakthrough and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that an end has come to struggles, pain, shame and disgrace in your life and family. I speak peace to every storm raging in your family and your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all you need to fulfill destiny are provided for. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will always see possibilities even when others are seeing impossibilities. I decree that you will receive a divine idea that will turn your financial story around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that wherever you have been rejected, you will be accepted because you are accepted in the beloved. I pray for you that you will not leave the path to your breakthrough due to wrong counsel in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will know the will of God for your life per season and time. By the power in the name of Jesus, I release the angel of your breakthrough and prosperity. I put them to work this instant. I decree that they will cause money and resources to come to you. I decree that you will not be confused at touching the kind of business and skill to engage that will cause a major breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the years you have lost and all resources that were stolen from you are restored to you in a hundredfold. Let us begin to thank God for answering our prayers. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. God's earnest desire for you and me is for us to make progress in all areas of our lives. 3 John 1 and 2 says that God wishes above all things that we prosper and be in health even as our souls prosper. God wants the best for you, but the devil wants you to remain in the spot because he hates it when God's children make progress. The yoke of stagnation in your life and family will be broken today, whether the devil likes it or not. Because the anointing of God that destroys all forms of yokes will flow through you and break it. Now the word of God also says in Job 22 verse 28, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your ways. As we will be praying together, proclaim the prayers with faith knowing that you will get the answers to your prayers. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that every yoke of stagnation the enemies have placed upon you is destroyed. All limitations that you have placed upon yourself unconsciously are revoked now in the name of Jesus. And in that mighty name, I pray that all the powers of darkness that want you to go around in a circle are arrested and sent to the abyss. I decree that in any area of your life you are experiencing stagnation, those areas receive the speed of the Holy Ghost even now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will move with the speed of the Holy Ghost in accessing all that God has prepared for you in the name of Jesus. Those years you have lost due to the yoke of stagnation, the devil and his cohorts have placed upon you are restored to you in sevenfold. 
I speak forth life to those dry bones in your life and I decree that the life of God will quicken them in the name of Jesus. Job 17 9 says that the righteous will hold to his ways and he who has clean hands will grow stronger and stronger. I pray for you that you will grow stronger and stronger since you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The word of God says in Psalm 84 verse 5, Blessed is the man whose strength is in his God and whose heart are the highways to Zion. I therefore pray for you that you will be strengthened daily to make progress in the name of Jesus. Psalm 92 verse 12 says that the righteous will flourish like the palm tree. He will grow like the cedar in Lebanon. From today, you will begin to flourish like the tree planted by the riverside and you will experience spontaneous growth in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. Proverbs 4 18 says that the parts of the righteous are like the light of the dawn that shines brighter and brighter even onto the perfect day. In the name of Jesus, I pray that all you lay your hands to do will experience growth and you will make daily progress and you will never experience stagnation again in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the power in that name, there is no wasted labor for you any longer. The word of God says that you will be the head and not the tail. I therefore decree and pray for you that you will begin to manifest the attitude of being the head in all ramification. I break and I shatter all the yokes of stagnation that are making you work hard, yet there is nothing to show for it in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be fruitful in all areas of your life. You would no longer experience barrenness, stagnation and unfruitfulness in the name of Jesus. I speak for life to those dead things in your life in the name of Jesus. You will no longer remain on the spot or lag behind. The Lord will show himself as strong and powerful on your behalf and he will give you the strength to soar high above all forms of stagnation in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will no longer labor hard for another man to eat. You will be the first partaker of your labor in the name of Jesus. I speak for light to every darkness in your life and family in the name of Jesus. By the power of that name, I scatter all the gatherings of the evil ones that have sworn to keep you on the spot. Whether the devil likes it or not, he and his agents, they would no longer keep you in one place because you will be fruitful, you will be productive, and you will exercise the dominion mandate in the name of Jesus. There is no longer stagnation in your business or your job in the name of Jesus. And I stand on the word of God and I decree that you would never know better yesterday. In Jesus name, you will no longer be stagnant financially. I pray in all areas of your life that you are experiencing stagnation. You will gain supernatural speed and you will recover those things that you have lost and you will also outrun those that are ahead of you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the oil of promotion is resting upon you now and you're experiencing promotion in all facets of your life in the name of Jesus. I pull you out of every pit of stagnation. The enemies have kept you. The Lord is turning your life around for good and men will come and celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. By the power in that name I decree that you will begin to lay gold as dust and the Lord will replace the garment of heaviness for gladness for you in Jesus mighty name. I know and I have this assurance in my spirit that you cannot experience hardship in all facets of your life. Why did I say this? The simple reason is that the Bible says in Isaiah 53 verse 5b that the chastisement of your peace was upon him. And verse 7 of the same chapter said, He was also oppressed and afflicted for your sake. So you cannot be in slavery or experience hardship because the price for you to experience ease and freedom was paid in full by Christ. Know this rest in it and also enforce it in the place of your confessions and prayers. 
as I will be making these decrees and prayers for you, ensure you join your faith with mine as we enforce the freedom and victory that you have in Christ. I decree over you that you no longer experience hardships in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that an end has come to working hard and nothing to show for it. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of darkness that have sworn to frustrate all your efforts are brought to book. The Word of God says in Colossians 2 verse 14 that Christ has wiped out all the handwriting of requirements that were against you, which was contrary to you. He took them out of the way, having nailed them to the cross. I decree that all the evil handwritings that your forefathers have appended the signature to ignorantly would not affect you because you are a new man in Christ now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you have overcome the sufferings there are in the world. I decree that you're exempted from hardship that are prevalent in your community in the name of Jesus. I decree that when others are saying there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up. I decree that you will excite your victory over poverty and penury in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not struggle before you eat. Rather, you will get bountiful results from your little inputs. By the finished work of Christ, which was stated clearly in Revelation 5.12, I decree that you operate in power, riches, wisdom, strength, honor, glory, and blessing. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 60 verses 1 to 2 that you have arisen and you are shining for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you and his glory shall be seen upon you. In the name of Jesus, I decree over you that irrespective of the economic hardship that is happening around you, you will not be a part of it because the glory of the Lord will radiate through you in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will lay down gold as dust and the Lord will give you beauty for ashes and he will give you double honor for shame. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are no longer subjected to slavery because you have not been given the spirit of bondage again to fear, but a spirit of adoption wherein you can cry, Abba, Father. By the power in the name of Jesus, I set you free from every chain of limitation the wicked ones have placed on you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your mind is enlarged and the abundance of the sea is converted to you. I decree that you will lend to nations. You are a giver and not a borrower in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will no longer keep yourself in bondage and hardship by the words of your mouth which negate the will of God for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the love of God will place you above all limitations and hardships that are prevalent in your lineage. I pray for you that the Lord will give you a powerful idea that will turn your life around just like he gave Jacob one and made him wealthier than his uncle. I decree over you that you will no longer struggle in all areas of your life. Rather, you will be like a tree planted by the riverside whose leaves are evergreen and bring forth its fruits in due season. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not die prematurely by hardships and struggles. I decree over you that you are free indeed from every generational curse that has placed your life in a circle that has also limited you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you make progress in all ramifications and you excel more than contemporaries. I decree that you are the head and not the tail. You are above and never beneath in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God for answering all our prayers. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen.
I want you to beat your hand on your chest this instant and tell yourself, I can never be poor because Jesus became poor so that I will be rich and I'm also a seed of Abraham. Abraham was never poor, hence I can never be poor. Saying this will remind you of how you are blessed already in Christ. You can never be poor even if there is poverty in your lineage because you are a new man in Christ. You have been redeemed from the curse of the law because Christ became a curse for you so that you will be called blessed. We'll be making these declarations together as we do that. Please affirm all the words decreed over you with faith. The Bible says in Job 22 verse 28, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your path. Do not take these prayers and decrees casually because after this, you will come back here testifying of the Lord's goodness and I can see your life turning around for good. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the siege of poverty over you is lifted. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that powers of darkness withstanding your financial turnaround are exposed and put to shame. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not die in penury. I decree that there is wealth transfer to you. You possess the hidden treasures of darkness. In the name of Jesus, I decree that throughout this year, what you will hear is good news. I decree that the angel of prosperity is put to work. Now, you will work tirelessly in ensuring the resources come to you. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the plans of the enemies to frustrate all your efforts, to break through, fall to the ground. The word of God says in Psalm 35, 27 C, that the Lord is interested in the prosperity of his servants. You are a son and daughter and also a servant of the highest. Therefore, you operate in prosperity. I decree that you are anointed with the oil of gladness above your brethren. This will make you stand out for excellence among your contemporaries. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be so wealthy that nations will come to lend from you. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will put a new song into your mouth and you will radiate the glory of the Lord in your business and skill. I decree over your business that it is flourishing and prospering in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be fruitful from now, even till your old age. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I decree that the blood of Jesus is upon your forehead and it exempts you from failure, disgrace, stagnation, backwardness and misfortunes. I decree the kings will minister to you and they will come to the brightness of your rising in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be ahead of your enemies in all areas. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will spread good news and not bad news. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the goodness and mercy of the Lord are following you all the days of your life. I decree in the name of Jesus that the power to get wealth is at work in you and you will sustain generational wealth. In the name of Jesus, I decree that no member of your family will die prematurely the will all live to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will raise you from the dust and set you atop a hill for the world to see. I decree that you have all sufficiency in all things and that you lack nothing good. I pray for you that the Lord will open to you his good treasury. The heavens would give rain to your land in its season and he will also bless the works of your hands in Jesus name. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 10 19 that money answers all things. I decree that you make money in abundance this year and for the rest of your life in Jesus name. The forces of darkness work tirelessly so as to frustrate your efforts. 
They want you to work like an elephant and eat like an ant. As children of God, we are to be discerning enough to know the will of God for us as regards our finance. Do not be a party to those who think that they are comfortable struggling financially. You have to take what is rightfully yours. Do not give a place to the devil and his cohorts to frustrate your financial impute. The Word of God says in Job 22, 28, You will decree a thing on earth and it will be established to you and light will shine upon your path. It is time for you to war with the Word of God against the forces of darkness bent to frustrate your financial effort. Join your faith with mine as I make these prayers and decrees over you and your finance. I decree in the name of Jesus that you walk in financial freedom all the days of your life. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will not labor hard and not get tangible results from your labor in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I bind all the powers of darkness that want you to go around begging before you eat. I come against the evil ones that want you to remain in the valley all the days of your life. 3 John 1, 2 says, God wishes above all things that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. I decree that you will prosper in all ramifications in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Isaiah 1, 19, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be willing and obedient and in turn, you will eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will be head and not the tail in all areas of your life. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 8, 18, You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is He that gives you power to get wealth. I decree that the power to get wealth is released to you, and as you make wealth, you will not forget God in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will walk in financial prosperity and abundance. You will end to nations, and you will never borrow in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the wealth that God would give to you would never bring sorrow to you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will be helped and favored by God and by men. I decree over you that you will get a divine revelation that would turn your finance around in the name of Jesus. The word of God says that he that is planted in the courts of God shall flourish and still bring forth fruit in their old age. I pray for you that you will be planted in the courts of God and you will still be productive even till your old age in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name I decree that all that the enemies told from you in the past are returned sevenfold. I decree that you will not lack help when you need one. I decree that the Egyptians that troubled you financially yesterday will not be seen no more by you. I decree that you will be blessed and you will also be a blessing to others around you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be a prince that will walk. You will ride on chariots. The word of God says in John 10:10, 10, 10, the devil comes not but to steal, kill and destroy, but the son of man has come to give you life and to give you more abundantly. I decree that you will walk in the life that God has breathed in your finance in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be ahead of the wicked ones that want you to beg from them before you eat in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you would never be stranded financially. By the power in that name, I scatter all the forces of darkness that want to frustrate your business or your job. I thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Miracles are supernatural occurrences that are beyond human comprehension. God often shows his children his mightiness by doing miraculous acts for them. 
In the time of old, God showed the children of Israel many miracles that made them believe that he is not the same God that their close neighbors served. As long as you are a child of God, you are to work in the miraculous. Though sometimes the powers of darkness try to hinder miracles from getting to us, you need not worry about these powers because they have been trampled upon by Jesus when he died on the cross and rose again on the third day. He now gave us the same authority he used to conquer all the powers of darkness and he is assuring us that they dare not harm us. The Bible emphatically said in the book of Matthew 16 19 that we have been given the keys of the kingdom. Whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Use the authority that you have in the name of Jesus. I will be making these prayers and decrees over you. Align your faith with mine to get results. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of darkness that are impeding your miracles from getting to you are scattered. I decree that all of your miracles that have been delayed will come to you now in the name of Jesus. I decree that the miracle that will turn your life around for good will happen right now and the devil and his cohorts will not be able to hinder it from coming to you. I decree that your miracles that have been overdue but is being delayed by the powers of darkness are released from their grip. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will experience the miracle of the Lord in all areas of your life. I decree over you that you will be a candidate of the Lord's miracle this season in the name of Jesus. I send the powers of darkness into the hobbies that have caged your miracles. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that in the areas of your life that you need the touch of God, you will experience a miracle in those areas. I decree that you will experience miracles that will silence all your mockers. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says that God will have mercy upon whom you will have mercy. I decree that you and your family are candidates for the Lord's mercy in the name of Jesus. I decree that all the forces of darkness that have ganged up to frustrate you from experiencing your miracle are scattered in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not experience anything short of miracles. I decree that all the forces of darkness that have ganged up to frustrate you from experiencing your miracle are scattered in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not experience anything short of miracles, even in this season, in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not seek false miracles that will inhibit your progress in life by the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not fall prey to the hands of false prophets who are masters of doing false miracles. I decree over you that you will not live the will of God for you in the pursuit of deceits of the wicked ones that are disguised as miracles. You will make accelerated progress in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you and all members of your family will walk in the miraculous in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will rot miracles that will make people give their lives to Christ. And in the name of Jesus, I decree over you that you will experience a miracle that will leave all your enemies in a state of confusion. And I pray for you that you will not be led astray by the wicked ones into traps that are disguised as miracles. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree that your marriage experience the miraculous this season. You will be living wonder to the world in the name of Jesus. I decree that the powers of darkness that are trying to hinder your destiny helpers from locating you are put into confusion in the name of Jesus. You will not seek in vain the miracles of the Lord. The Lord will always show you his miraculous side in the name of Jesus. As children of God, we must realize that there are spirits that are negative. Don't ignore them, but don't be afraid of them. 
There is a spirit that attacks the children of God when they are about to hit a milestone in their career, business or jobs. That spirit needs to be arrested because it is a very wicked one that doesn't easily give up. If you discover that on the verge of making a breakthrough, something bad happens that cuts short your joy, you should immediately seek the face of God and engage the power in the name of Jesus to triumph over these powers. The Bible says in Job 22, 28, you will decree a thing on earth and it will be established unto you. A light will shine upon your path. You have the authority to say anything using the name of Jesus and it will be done to you. These demons that hinder you from getting the desired results, you crave are under your feet because you have the power to trample upon them and they cannot do anything about it. These prayers I will be releasing over you will incapacitate these powers of darkness and don't be casual about them. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast powers that cause people and you particularly to fail at the edge of achieving success. I decree that the spirits that are at the junction of your breakthrough are rested by the hosts of heaven. I decree that the angel of the Lord would bind powers that are bent on making you frustrated as you make repeated efforts to keep the mark you have set for yourself. I decree that the forces of darkness that want to make you give up on the verge of your success and breakthrough bound in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I bind every demon that wants you to labor in vain and want your labor to go unrewarded. I shoot for the arrows of God to destroy powers that are bent on frustrating all of your input and efforts. I decree that you will no longer lag and you will not be stagnant again in all areas of your life. I pull you out of that obsession, suppression and oppression the devil and his cohorts have subjected you to. I decree that you and all the members of your family will achieve the goals that you have set for yourselves in the name of Jesus. I decree that the evil ones that have placed a siege on you destroyed and I decree that the siege they have placed on you lifted. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I nullify the evil mark of near success syndrome the enemies have placed on you. And I decree that you will gain the speed of the Holy Ghost that will help you to get results that will marvel you and the world at large. I pray and I declare that by the power in the name of Jesus that you are matched for success, breakthrough and progress by Jesus and his mark will be visible for the enemies to see. I decree that every chain that is holding you back from reaching your destination is broken, that you are moving forward. There is no longer backwardness for you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will break free from every form of limitation placed upon you. I pray that you are insulated with the anointing of the Holy Ghost and I decree that yokes are destroyed right now in your life in the name of Jesus. You are no longer behind. You are ahead. You will no longer remain on the spot. In all areas of your life, there will be visible progress for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the powers of darkness that are subtly monitoring your progress are exposed and destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are separated from progress and success. The devil and his cohorts would no longer impede your progress in the name of Jesus. I decree that the years that you have lost because you were always failing on the edge of success are restored to you in sevenfold in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not stay in the valley, that the wicked ones have kept you in. You will rise and stand on the mountaintop because you are the light of the earth. I break all barriers that have been obstructing you from making significant progress in all areas of your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. Colossians 2.14 says that Jesus Christ has wiped out all the handwriting that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he took them out of the way, having nailed them to the cross. All the handwritings 
of ordinances that are against you include generational curses and patterns that are working contrary to the will of God for you. The Bible also says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, that if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You are a new man, a new woman in Christ. So all generational patterns hold no water in your life. The word of God is right within you and in your mouth. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 18, that whatever you bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. Lose yourself free today from strange patterns that want to manifest themselves in your life and in your families. I'll be making this prayers and decrees over you. Join your faith with mine so as to claim your victory today. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you are set free from all generational patterns that are working against the will of God for you. I decree that the blood of Jesus will make you untouchable from curses and demonic patterns. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that the Lord will not visit the sins of your fathers upon you. The Bible says in Galatians 3.13 that Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. He was made a curse for us because cursed is anyone that hangs upon the tree. I decree that all the demonic patterns that are running in your lineage are rendered useless by what Christ did on the cross for you in Jesus' name. I decree that instead of curses, you will enjoy the blessings of God in sevenfold. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that affliction should not rise up the second time in your life in Jesus' name. I decree that you will not suffer for the iniquities of your fathers. The keys of the kingdom of God are with me. And it, it is in the name of Jesus that I decree that all the demonic patterns, the one to hamper the will of God for you are nullified in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be afflicted by sickness and ailments due to strange patterns that are running in your light nature. I decree that the law of the spirit of life that is in Christ has set you free from the law of sin and death in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 verse 17 says, No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, and any tongue that rises in judgment against you shall be condemned. I decree that all the weapons that were set up by the wicked ones against your lineage in times past the one to affect you now are destroyed in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord will bless you and his blessings will cancel every curse and pardon in your life in the name of Jesus. Because you are in Christ, all things have passed away. All things have become new. I decree that the newness of life that is in Christ that is at work in you will nullify all the demonic patterns that are still alive in your family in the name of Jesus. Whoever the Son of Man has set free shall be free indeed. I decree that you are free indeed from the curses and patterns that are in your lineage in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be limited and stagnated by demonic patterns in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be held by God and the Lord will put as top to oppression of any sort in your family in the name of Jesus. I decree that the Lord has redeemed you from destruction and also redeemed you from the pit of demonic generational patterns. I decree that the steadfast love of God which is from everlasting to everlasting will exempt you from demonic generational patterns that are in your lineage in the name of Jesus. I decree that you are walking in the newness of life that you have been given when Christ died and rose on the third day. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not experience wasted labor in all areas of your life due to generational patterns in your lineage. I decree that you will come out from the valley of curses and oppression to the mountain of freedom in the name of Jesus.
One thing the devil wants you to do is to focus more on him by sending distractions to you. He hates it when God gets the glory in your life. So you plus to ensure that you shift focus from God. Anytime you talk more about things that are not edifying, you make the devil happy. And he is a master at distorting the glory that is supposed to go to God, to himself. You are instructed to submit to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do not focus on what the devil is doing. Focus on what God is doing per season and time with you. The Bible says in Mark 11, 24, that whatever you desire, when you pray, believe that you have received them and you shall have them. Do not doubt the efficacy of God's word. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you receive the grace of God to not get distracted by the devil's scheme. I pray for you that you receive the spirit to be resilient and not back out easily in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not focus on what the devil is doing around you. Rather, your focus will be on the will of God. I pray for you that you will know the will of God for you at every season and time. By the power of the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not lose sight of what God is doing to you and for you. There is freedom for you against all the scheme of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will walk in God's perfect will and not his permissive will. There is upward sensitivity for you in all areas of your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be insensitive to the promptings and the leadings of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be confused as to knowing the will of God for you and your family in the name of Jesus. I pray that you will not be deceived by the antics of the devil and his cohorts. I pray that you will not be frustrated by the devil's schemes and plots. You will ascend to the height of not being carried away by the schemes of the devil and his cohorts. I pray for you that you will be ahead of the devil and his schemes in the name of Jesus. There is victory for you against all the schemes of the enemies in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will not be led astray by the schemes of the wicked ones. I decree that your gaze will always be on Jesus instead of the devil and his minions or doing around you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will receive the grace to submit to God and resist the devil's schemes in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not be caught unaware by the devil and his agent's plots. I pray for you that you will be alive unto God and not unto the devil. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will stand firm in the will of God for you. That you will stand strong even in the face of persecution and trials in the name of Jesus. That you will not walk outside the path that God wants you to tread in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will not be deceived by the wrong association to leave the will of God for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. You will live to become what God wants you to become despite the trials, troubles and pains that the devil and his agents will send to you in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will be steadfast, immovable and always abounding unto the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that your hope will remain fixed on Jesus and not on anything that the devil is doing around you to make you lose focus. I decree that you will not lose sight of who you are in Christ in Jesus name the grace of the Lord will abound much more in your life in all ramifications of your life in Jesus name the worst thing that can ever happen to any believer is when the believer walks outside of God's will for them as long as you are a child of God you need to be abreast with what God wants you to do per time and season. You should not be ignorant of the times. You should understand and know the will of God for you. Be like the children of Issachar who understood times. 
When you walk in God's will for you, you will derive maximum fulfillment and satisfaction. Let me also tell you that your purpose is in God and it is not in your ambitions or what people suggest to you. You are great, but this greatness will not materialize well if you do not align with God's will for you. The Bible says in Ephesians 1, 17 and 18 that the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him and that your eyes of understanding might be enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? The scripture also sums up to the need for you to know the reason why you were created. We will be praying together as we unravel the will of God for you and enforce it. Let's pray. In the name that is above every other name, thank you, Father, for the grace to come to your throne boldly and obtain mercy. We come with the prayer knowing that your will for us is to prosper even as our souls prosper. And I decree that the will of God will be materialized in all areas of the lives of those that are listening to me. That they will not walk outside of God's will for them in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray particularly to that person listening to me that from today, the will of God will gain preeminence in all areas of your life. I decree that the purpose you were created for will be unraveled to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree that all distractions that will come at you, which will make you leave the will of God for you, will not come to you. I decree that the veil that is covering your eyes, not allowing you to see the will of God and the purpose God created you for, is removed in the name of Jesus. The scales in your eyes are falling off this instant in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the power that is in the name of Jesus, I decree that the will of God will become more real to you. The mercy of the Lord will help you in walking in the will of God for you. An unprecedented favor from all corners will find you and make it easy for you to fulfill purpose in the name of Jesus. I decree that the goodness and mercy of the Lord which will ease your journey in life will never run out in the name of Jesus. As you walk intentionally in the will of God for you today, the Lord will give you strength to do much more. And I decree that you will never be discouraged in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that you will surrender totally to God's will and purpose for you in the mighty name of Jesus. And all those God assigned helpers that have been strategically placed by him to help you as you walk towards the fulfillment of your purpose. I decree that they locate you and find you even now in the name of Jesus. You are discerning to know the will of God for you per time and season. And that is a decree in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, the will of God will supersede in your ambitions in Jesus name. I decree that you will not begin to walk late in the purpose God created for you. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that every voice that will lead you astray outside the will of God is silenced now by the power in the name of Jesus. I decree that the will of God in your life will make you a living wonder. The plans of the wicked ones to frustrate the will of God for you are put into null and void in the name of Jesus. As you begin to walk in God's purpose for you, you will begin to find fulfillment and satisfaction even in life in the name of Jesus. I decree that God will arise and fight for you against all the forces of darkness that don't want you to be great. 
sickness and premature death were not cut short the will of God for you in Jesus name and all the resources that you need to ease your journey in life are provided for now in the name of Jesus I decree that you will arise and shine and no force of darkness will prevent you from shining in the name of Jesus as believers, we are positioned to flourish and experience breakthrough in all areas of our life because Jesus became poor so that we will be rich. He paid the price for our breakthrough completely on the cross. The only thing left now is for you to walk in the breakthrough from struggles he has made available for you. Remember that a new man or woman in Christ does not have to toil and sweat hard before he or she succeeds. The toiling and sweating hard died with your old man. Tell yourself this. I am positioned for a breakthrough. I never labor hard and get little results. I flourish like the tree planted by the riverside. As we will be making these prayers together, do it in faith, knowing that you will get an answer to all of them. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not labor hard in vain and then another man eat of it. I decree over you the struggles have ended in your life. In the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that there is no wasted effort for you. I decree that you will experience the breakthrough of the Lord in all areas of your life. In the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all your efforts will never fall to the ground. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the resurrection power rests on everything dead in your life. I decree that all your dreams, visions and goals receive the breath of God and they come to life in the name of Jesus. I decree that you will overcome all obstacles on your path to greatness. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the spirit of the Midianites, the steel harvest is bound and cast into the Hades. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you'll be a tree planted by the riverside whose leaves are evergreen and produces its fruit in due season. I decree that you will not be impatient and miss your day of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I decree that all the powers of darkness that are withstanding your breakthrough financially are scattered in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 28 that you will be head and not the tail. I decree that you are the head in all facets of life. You are never behind in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will never be behind shadow and ahead of your time. You will walk in God's perfect timing for you. I decree that all the resources that are needed for your breakthrough to manifest are provided now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that your God-ordained helper heart is troubled until he helps you just like the way the heart of Azarus was troubled in the case of Mordecai and he caused a change in Mordecai's story. I decree that you will not beg for men to help you. You will attract the favor of men to your side because you are shielded with favor in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that all the members of your family will walk in breakthrough and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I pray for you that an end has come to struggles, pain, shame and disgrace in your life and family. I speak peace to every storm raging in your family and your life in the name of Jesus. I decree that all you need to fulfill destiny are provided for. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will always see possibilities even when others are seen impossibilities. I decree that you will receive a divine idea that will turn your financial story around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that wherever you have been rejected, you will be accepted because you are accepted in the beloved. I pray for you that you will not leave the path 
to your breakthrough due to wrong counsel in the name of Jesus. I decree over you that you will know the will of God for your life per season and time. By the power in the name of Jesus, I release the angel of your breakthrough and prosperity. I put them to work this instant. I decree that they will cause money and resources to come to you. I decree that you will not be confused at touching the kind of business and skill to engage that will cause a major breakthrough in your life in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that all the years you have lost and all resources that were stolen from you are restored to you in a hundredfold. Let us begin to thank God for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. The Bible says in Proverbs 6, 31, when a thief is caught and apprehended, he is to return the things he has stolen sevenfold. We're also told in Joel 2, 25, that God will restore to us the years the locust has eaten and that we shall eat in plenty. Those years you thought you have wasted can be recovered. It doesn't matter how long. What matters is that God is ready to restore to you the years you have wasted either through your negligence or ignorance. Do not be bothered about your mates that are ahead of you. The Lord can give you a supernatural speed that will make you run ahead of them just like the way prophet Elijah outran the chariots of Ahab. There is no limitation for you. There is progress for you. As far as God is concerned, you can be restored back. Psalm 23 verse 3a says that God restores your soul. He's ever ready to make you recover all the things that the wicked ones have stolen from you. You are God's battle axe and his weapon of war. He won't war for you if you do not give him permission. The Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, that God will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Life and death are in the power of your tongue. You have the authority to decree a thing and it will be established to you. How fast do you want God to restore to you the things the enemies have stolen from you? It all depends on the urgency of how you want it restored. I'll be making these decrees and prayers over you for God to restore all the things that you have lost. The only thing you need to do right now is to align your faith with mine as there is power in prayers done in the unity of hearts. I decree that all the years you have wasted either knowingly or unknowingly are restored back to you in sevenfold in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I forcefully collect all that the enemies have stolen from you. I decree that there is restoration of wonderful opportunities that you lost in the past in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus, I decree that you will not be backward. There is progress for you in all areas of your life. I decree that you would not be caught unawares by powers that steal and empty a man in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I decree that the promotion that was tolling from you is returned to you. I decree in the name of Jesus that there is restoration in your marriage and business. I decree that just like the way God restored to Job all that the devil stole from him after he prayed for his friends, you will be restored in like manner. I decree that you have overcome the world because you are born of God. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5.10, the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ after you have suffered a little while will himself restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. I decree that your sufferings would not be unrewarded as God will restore you in a hundredfold and also make you firm, strong and steadfast in the name of Jesus. I decree 
that there is restoration of resources you lost in the past. In the name of Jesus, I decree that you will return to the fortress of God as he is set to restore you in a double fold. I decree that there is perfect restoration for you. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29, 11, that the thought that God has for you are thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. I decree that God's plan for your life will begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. I decree that your hearts would no longer be troubled as God is set to restore to you the years and the things you have lost. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you will restore your brethren that are caught in sin. You won't go around slandering them in the name of Jesus. By the power of the name of Jesus, I decree that there is restoration of love, joy and peace in your family. I decree that your love for God which has waxed cold is restored back better than the way it was. In the name of Jesus, you will be restored financially, materially, and economically. And I decree that the Lord will heal you and bind up your wounds in the name of Jesus. Lord, I give you all the glory for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Do not forget to drop your prayers in the comment section. I will be praying for you. I implore you to like, share and subscribe to our channel. The Lord richly reward you as you do that in Jesus name. Amen.